Uh, let's get going. So many people have gotten their wings today. We got a full bucket and we got a guest. Oh shit, is this live? Yes. Beneath the skin, you are already one with the slob. Was it not your sin that liquefied the Oreos? Even now the evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. I'm ready to get sloppy today. Thank you, Red Planet of Mars, who gave three dollars hey uh during the intro some notifications got skipped because uh that's just how it i the intro beats all right so so i'm gonna replay some of these i think i could just click on them to replay some of them right i'm gonna replay the tts ones but i'm gonna thank everyone myself personally okay uh what did we miss any i think strawberry colada just gave uh oh wait no this is old but strawberry colada did give out another gift sub uh, we nice. had uh, Shrimp Toast 2000 with $10. Uh, how do we replay this? Okay. For your hospital bills when you inevitably succumb to the Oreo Krul. Hey, Slime Award. Thank you for the $5. Thank you for looking out for me. I think I'll be fine. Wayne has consumed a lot of the Oreo slop and he seems to be okay and, 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 and surviving. Um, mm -hmm. that being said, that being said, I don't know if I'll like it. That's, you know, part of this is the review. We'll get to that later. Um, oh, this one's going to be good. Uh, this one's going to be good. Marlene is going to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was what the that was what the wonder with three dollars. Thank you. And to round it off, oh wait, Red Planet on Mars did get their message read by Merlene. Thank you, Merlene. Everyone say thank you, Merlene. She's thank doing you, a great Merlene. job. Catherine, if you're wondering where Catherine went, Catherine had to. Uh, she recently got married, and as a part of that, she found a new job and moved uh, moved to Colorado with her husband. So good for her. Yeah, good for her. But it means that we had to, you know. We had to look for someone else, so all the way from Germany. Everyone say thank you to Marlene. Welcome. Welcome. She'll be reading it's, the TTS messages today if you donate. It's important to help out emerging talent like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, it looks... Ooh, I heard a cat. Anyway, I think... And I'm sorry if I missed you. Uh, I apologize. But I think we're all caught up with notifications, I hope. Hey, thank you for all the gift subs, by the way. If you got your wing... If you're an angel who just got their wings from Holly, everyone say thanks. Alright, so... Just to... Uh, just to uh, tell you guys the format of today. We're not going to be playing any games today. We're going to just be hanging out. Uh, we might play some Yakuza at the end. But... Oh, I don't want this song. Oops. <laughs> Anyway, um, part of this is uh, we are going to be uh, 
basically going over all the games conferences that I've missed. So that is Nintendo, Xbox, Ubisoft, and EA. Those are the four presentations that I missed. Of course, as you all, as many of you know. Thank you, Rotten Brain Matter. With five dollars, as I was saying though. Um, today's format is we're gonna be going over those. Die Dim Asawin. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Anyway, yeah, so these aren't live. Uh, they happened anywhere from yesterday to like a month or so ago. Um, but hey, I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying attention. And neither has Reese Fan 1997 who gave 100 bits. Actually, I'm sorry, you have been paying attention because you're on the ball with that. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, uh, Xbox, Nintendo, E3, or uh, EA, and Ubisoft. Those are the four presentations we're going to be watching today. Uh, we're going to start off with Nintendo because theirs is very short. It's eight minutes and uh, it should be good. Also, at some point today, we're going to be trying Wayne's recipe for Oreo slop. Alright, so get excited for that. I'm going to be making it on camera and we're going to be... Get excited for that. Oh, Let's Wayne's here. Wayne's here. We're going to try it. So I got my Oreos. I got the milk in the fridge. I want the milk. Should the milk be cold or should it yeah. be room temperature? Of course it should be cold. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, you're putting you're putting a small enough amount of milk in it that, like, the Oreos are... It's it's not going to be cold when you eat the slop. Like, okay. the, the, the room temperature Oreos are going to overtake that. Okay. What if we heated the milk up and made, like, a warm pudding? Ooh, yeah, like a warm now, pudding. Honestly... Honestly, it probably would be not bad, warm or cold. It's it's it pretty much it's less of a pudding than it is a batter. It tastes like batter. <laughs> okay, well, well, okay, well, uh, so we have that to look forward to, but that's not happening yet because I still have to finish my coffee. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get on with the show. So, uh, you know, I actually did not account for guests, so I think the smartest thing to do is. You guys will be on a slight delay, but actually no. I think I can share my screen, right? Yeah, you can do a window capture for the for the browser, and it should uh, it should share audio. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think that's what we're gonna do today. All right. And as promised, I got my webcam set up. So. Okay. Milk that has been sitting out in the open for five hours. Thank you, Casey Ann Hartley, uh, with the three dollars. Wait, do you, are you trying to say I should make it with that, or are you saying I should? Are you or are you saying I should uh, like make that what I make the thing with? Is that what you want me to make the slot with? Because I I don't know if that sounds too appetizing or not, guys. I don't know if that sounds safe. All right, music off. We're about to start the show. How does it look, guys? Looks good on my end. Okay. That's sorry. I should have specified that. Actually, is yeah. So if you can see the stream, chat, can you see the stream? They can see it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use my phone because I live on. I, I'm living that unfortunate one monitor life. But we'll, yeah, they we'll, say they see it. Excellent. We can manage. We got this. We got this. All right. Karak. Okay. Donaudampfschifffahrtselektrizitäten Hauptbetriebswerkbau unter Beamtengesellschaft. Oh, we got to think. That was loud and we got to think whoever that was. So, give me one moment. Ooh, I should have thought I should have thought this through. Uh yeah, give me one moment to adjust because I'm going to take the Streamlabs notification thing I have and this to a separate window. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties because... I don't know. It happens. <laughs> that was Red Planet on Mars with the $3. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, 
You guys are too generous. But your generosity is starting to... Okay. Sorry about that. If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to get a second monitor just to make this more bearable. Alright. Whoa, that's loud. Welcome to our first Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. We'll be delivering the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch games. I know two monitors is good, guys. More videos in this series <laughs> Trust me. This year. So but my, I have an unfortunate okay. desk. We'll talk about Let's that later. The headlines. Keep stepping to the beat with new content. Ooh. Use your rhythm skills to overcome yeah, the this is dope. terrorizing the land in the Cadence of Hyrule script of the Necro Dancer featuring the Legend of Zelda game. Now with three additional DLC packs. Pack 1, Character Pack. Five newly added characters join the ensemble. Impa excels in ranged attacks with the Naginata. Take one hit or miss a beat with Aria, and it's game over. With these characters, you can take your musical journey for a new spin. Pack 2, Frederick. Melody Pack. 39 songs will be added I forgot to close the door. Versions of the game That's okay. <clears throat> you can change the background music at any time so you can listen so, to your favorite songs. So, how hard are these games? Are they, like, really hard? I tried playing a demo at PAX, and it was hard. Uh, I had, I can't speak for this one, but, like, original Necro Dancer gets real fucking hard. It's a lot of fun, though. power to change abilities based on the masks he dons. What awaits Skull Kid in these strange lands? I'm surprised there is DLC for this game. I talked to mm -hmm. someone, I talked to someone at PAX East and they're like, yeah, they basically, I don't want to say too much, but it was like, it was less a partnership and more like they reached out to Nintendo and they're like, okay, you could pay to make a Zelda game. <laughs> I mean, that's how these things work, right? Yeah. So maybe they're making full use of their license maybe or, or whatnot. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure being an indie studio, they got a better deal than, you know. Yeah. If I, if uh, it's, it's, cool. Okay. it's cool that they got the opportunity Ballots, at all, but it's even cool that they got the chance to like, put out more for stuff everyone. for it. I'll thank you after the show. Uh, whoever that was. That was Shrimp Toast 2000. Thank you. Thank you for being thank you for being my my eyes and ears while I only have one monitor. Hell what is yeah. this? Is this Watch Dogs? Nope. This is literally just some fucking hero shooter. Are you serious? Yup. I saw this part when I first watched okay. this like direct and I was like, oh, this looks cool as hell. I wonder what new game this is for. Nope, it's for a fucking hero shooter. Glitch. A new rogue is That's the name of the character. Thanks, oh. for the $5. Oh, no. I, I've literally never heard of this game, but it's apparently already out, which surprises me, because where did it come from? This looks the hero like... Yeah, the this hero looks shooters like... are just popping up like weeds. I mean, that's the new... It used to be MOBAs, and now it's this. And then it used to be, like, Dark Souls games, and now it's this, right? So it's like... Mm. That, that trailer was so cool, and it leads up to this, and I just completely forgot this was even a thing. Oh, hi res Markov. Hi res make this? Apparently. Oh, this is the game Scorpio was ta laughing about. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Listen, everyone, there will be other directs with other games you care about. Let WWE fans have this. Dude, WWE fans want this? I, I have no idea. <laughs> so, I'm not like a big wrestling guy, but it's like weird because like if you're a kid, like, a younger than 18, and you're into wrestling, which is probably, you know, a, you know, a normal thing to be into when you're a little kid. Like, mm -hmm. you don't even know who Andre the Giant is anymore. Right. So it's, like, weird. <coughs> well, you get Mega Cena, so it's okay. I mean, like, it's weird. Are they still, like... It's just odd. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is what I came here for. This is what I yep. came here for. Ah, I hear it. Oh, 
Oh, this is so dope, guys. You might not know this, but Belp is a huge fan of SMT. I, 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 I start, I, my first SMT game was four, and now I want to play through all of them, but, but my intuition said, don't emulate it yet, because at some point they're going to re-release three, because people love it so much, yep. and I was right. Yep. A world that loses its power. There, there is some bad news and good news about this one, though, which you Why? might see. I, oh, think I, see. I think I already know. It's been a while since we last met you. Or should I say, Demi? Demons. This place is crawling with them. You have done very well in keeping yourself alive. The world will fall for its sins. And everyone living will vanish. Will you tell me who you are? Tokyo died. And I was given life. So what's the bad thing? So the bad news is that Dante from the Devil May Cry series isn't in this one. Oh, who cares? Oh, about the, that? The good I... news is that the crossover character is another cool dude from another uh, Megami Tensei game. Yeah, so I actually... That that part was spoiled for me. I, I didn't... Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I was joking when I said I live under a rock. That's not entirely true. Uh, uh, I did know that, but it's cool because yeah, no Dante, but apparently this version of the game with that, um, what's his name was never released in the West. That was Japan only where they, oh, was it? yeah. So this is like the first time where it's like properly been released outside of Japan where it has that character instead of Dante. So that's, oh, so, hell yeah. so I still think this is dope. Yeah, it's awesome. It, 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 there's a new de a new Devil May Cry game came out like what last year. We got our fill of Dante, or it's mm -hmm. it's cool. Dante's an old man now. He's busy. Yeah. He can't come back for a guest appearance. Oh, this is what I'm so excited about. The fact that it's like the the project wasn't scrapped just makes me happy. Mm hmm. I a, a couple days before this direct came out, I was just thinking to myself, wow. We haven't heard anything about SMT5. That's probably dead in the water. How do you then, How do you look at this and still want Persona? I'm just going to say it flat <laughs> out. Like come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. How do you How do you think How do you think like nah, this is the lame stuff and I want the game where you're late for horny class. <laughs> like come on. What I will say, <laughs> you're right though. What I will say is that the Persona games tend to have really good style, but uh -huh. this has style and substance. So it's like eh. the Persona games look pretty, they sound pretty, uh, they probably play, play pretty good. Uh, the SMT games aren't ideological disasters with their stories, from what I've heard at least. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty all right. Mm -hmm. Or at least they handled them with a little more tact. Yeah, exactly. Get their ass. <laughs> si simultaneous worldwide release is fucking wild to me. I mean, there's no reason not. There's no reason much to not do it anymore. All right, that, yeah. was, that was it for Nintendo. Uh, so, hmm, let's transition to the screen here. <clears throat> uh, and let me actually thank people real quick. Oh, Holly, I think you thanked them already, didn't you? Yeah, I, I shouted out some of the folks that, that, yeah, I, yeah, that yeah. I caught. Ooh, okay. Red SMT Time Minox Chronicle is a great re-release. Raido and Guto being there instead of Devil May Cry 2 Dante is just as hype. Also, Baurip, you have incredible taste for liking SMT. Thank you for that compliment, Red Planet of Mars. Red Planet of Mars coming in with the three dollars. Uh, Marskov with the one dollar and eighty three cents. Yo, any milk drinkers in chat? An agent of Mira, I see. Well, I'm a milk drinker sometimes. I'm slightly lactose intolerant, but I can tolerate a little milk, which is why I can make the Oreo slop. Ray the Fay with five dollars <laughs> for bought for the buying of chicken wings. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I think I think after today's stream or maybe today or tomorrow I will get some wings. How about that? Shrimp Toast two thousand. Uh, Ooh, okay. With five dollars. Doctor Sex. Doctor Sex coming with the three dollars and ninety six cents. I should set up. 
I should maybe I should set up if you're gonna if you're gonna be in here maybe I should set up the Cut thing off. for Ooh, that Wayne okay. has. <laughs> Kartoffelvollernte Maschine. That is maybe a German word. I don't know. Thank you, Common Linnet, for the three dollars. Uh, Shrimp Toast two thousand with five dollars earlier eight minutes ago, saying I have an unfortunate desk. Yes, I do. All right, I think we're all caught up with uh notification. Vacations, no new subs since then. Okay, so let's rate this, right? So let's rate this. Um, let's get that belt rating. Rating. I mean, you had SMT. You had SMT five. I ten out of ten, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. I mean, I at this. It maybe it's a little sad, but um. The, you know, for an eight-minute presentation where you had two games that I will be absolutely buying day one for my Switch. Absolutely. The rest is like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. You can... Mm -hmm. you, you I know a little bit about how these things are done from watching, like, Giant Bomb talk to uh, developers and, like, bigwigs. They usually... Like, usually the way these presentations go is the company will usually literally ask the companies they're working with, like, hey, do you have anything to show... So Nintendo probably asked, got eight minutes of stuff, and we're like, all right, cool, this is our direct. So for eight minutes with two games that I'm going to be buying day one, yeah, that's good. Uh, enjoyment. Mm -hmm. I would say I, seven out of ten because uh, there was some stuff I cared about, some stuff I didn't care about, but eh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, these scores are going to go way down. Let me just I, – I get a feeling <laughs> – <laughs> I gotta feel like these scores are gonna go way down because uh, these other presentations are gonna. I get the feeling they're gonna leave something to be desired. None of the other presentations are gonna have SMT five. So I mean, on that basis alone, <laughs> that's so fucking sad. But oh, jeez. So yeah, um, I, I I don't really have much to say. They don't. There aren't too many details. But the SMT games, thankfully. If SMT 4 and 4 Final are anything to go off of, I don't think they're going to mess with the mainline SMT games too much. Because mm -hmm. um, why, Because why? you know, there's no reason to. They're going to use this. I reckon they're going to use the same battle system or something at least very similar. I think it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be more of what I expect. At least I hope. I hope they don't change up the formula too much. I don't They. they if they did, I think they'd start announcing it already. I'm looking at my phone at the, i'm looking at, at chat on my phone here uh i would give my left nut for an smt stream maybe maybe i i don't know about playing rpgs on stream i don't know if that'd be like super super exciting is the thing a lot of folks in chat earlier said they really want to see you play that so maybe maybe if i'm getting smt i'll figure it out i'll figure it out because i if i'm yeah, getting yeah. if i'm getting i've heard that uh smt i've heard that nocturne doesn't emulate well and if i do mm -hmm. buy them for um if i do buy them for my switch i'll need a capture card is the thing so you would capture watch me play SMT? Are useful enough thing to have yeah yeah i have other rpgs but i think you guys want to watch me play smt we'll figure it out we'll figure it out chat hell yeah i will i won't be the first don't set up a GoFundMe. No joke. Uh, but yeah. We no donated $5,000 to the cause. <laughs> oh! I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> Just... uh, a capture card so Belt can stream the SMT. You're gonna, oh my, you're going to get a fucking, you're going to get a NASA capture card with that money. <laughs> <laughs> Satellites from space that hook up via USB to your Switch. Capture the stars. Finally. Yeah, it, uh, I wish, I wish they, I wonder if in the future capture cards would just be built into the consoles, like you can just stream, but I don't want like the sh crappy PlayStation UI, I want like just the game footage and then I can put an overlay over it, mm. that's my own. Anyway, so that was that, here's another look at the scores again, meanwhile, I, alright, so that's where we're at. Guys, what should I move on to next? Let's actually make this a vote. Let's actually make Hell this yeah. a vote. Let the people speak. Yeah. Uh, cause. Well, a I wanna a I wanna buy time to, <laughs> uh, to 
drink my coffee. I need to finish my coffee. But we have EA, oh, Ubisoft. Which, I, gotta, I gotta go wash a coffee cup. I'll be right back. Uh, and what was it? Microsoft. Vote, guys. Vote on what we want next. In the meantime, I will be having my coffee and looking at chat. You know, for all the wings, for all the wing talk and the, uh, for all the wing talk and, and stuff, I actually haven't had wings in a while. So I may take you up on that offer for getting some wings. Wing talk, Bob's new NPR program. <laughs> maybe, maybe someday, guys. Maybe someday. I'm grinding my coffee as you sip. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Order wings on stream and eat them. Maybe someday, but not today. Uh, let's see. All right. It seems like Microsoft's the clear winner. Ooh, Milo Melodica getting Korean fried chicken after. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh my God. Is that really how it works? Do the glasses go over the cup man? The cup man's eyes. Oh, that's dope. That is so dope. Oh, I'm going to try this right now. With the sunglasses. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. You can put sunglasses over me too. When I eat the pasta. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh man, my emotes are paying for themselves. Wayne. Wayne, are you here? Is Wayne here? Wayne's got an answer for this. What is what? Okay. What happened? What? Oh, I'm like I I go I I go uh, in and out. What? what? What is this? What is what? What is what I just put in chat? What is that? <laughs> Were you not there? Oh, you weren't there last. No, night. I wasn't there. Oh, you have a lot to learn. What That's is Alex this? Chew. Who's Alex Chu? Oh, you know. Who is it? This is just a real ass man. Uh huh. <laughs> he's he's the hero of Mario's famous Flash game. All right. Well, I'll get the I'll get the story later. All right. You guys I, want? I caught the end of that stream right when I was trying to go to bed. <laughs> that song rules. What song is that? Uh, it's from. Mario and Alex Chu Land. Right, but what's the name of the song? Uh, I think that's self-titled. Oh. All right. Uh, did you guys in Discord? All right, you guys in Discord see the proper? Yep. All right. All right. People wanted Microsoft next. Actually, how much I got coffee in here? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna finish off my coffee and I'm gonna go put it away. We'll be right back. Someone in chat uh, found the name of the song. It's Hot Limit by John Desire. Uh, thank you to uh, Splatted underscore Lizianthus. I think I got your name right, but thank you so much for that. You fucking saved me. I love that song. All right, when we come back, we're moving on to Microsoft next. Stick around, folks. I'm going to listen to that song right now. Oh, it's from a DDR game. There are already four comments that say, like, certified Wayne Radio TV moments, Alex Chu hours. So some people last night realized what it was. <laughs> Kimiko, Elenda, no, the slop has not happened yet. Sue. Karak. Ooh, okay. Lass uns gehen, baby. Liebe die Mets. There are actually some old comments on the video. 
that like mm -hmm. are specifically referencing the Alex Chu game. Like anyone Wild. remember this song from Duet? It's Alex Chu Mario Flash game. What? <laughs> when you Google Alex Chu, the first result is Alex Chu Immortality Rings. Yes, it is. Alex Chu Immortality Magnetic Rings for Health. Oh, so this is why he's a scammer. Why did Gur not bring this up? <laughs> These rings are not made for comfort, but effectiveness. Alex suggests to wrap rings to make more comfortable with twine or a soft material. Yeah, wrap your fingers with twine. That'll feel great. Oh, I got too much sleep, actually. Not 20 minutes. Alex Chu has plans of resurrecting people, which involve taking a dead body, a cloned body, and surrounding both with a shitload of magnets that somehow bring the person back to life. That sounds safe. That sounds yeah. true. He doesn't seem put off, even by his own admission, that he has no idea how cloning works. <laughs> <laughs> Chu is also planning a teleportation device since his comments on The Daily Show, which for the last 10 years has consisted of a drawing of two magnets. Okay. That's fucking great. <laughs> Alex Chu is a real person. Yes, he sells scams. He sells Those like are... he sells like plastic rings with a little bit of metal in them, and he calls them immortality rings. And he says a, he sells a like a, a sugar pill called the Gorgeous Pill. There's another Alex Chu I found uh, who is a different person. I'm pretty sure because they are like an artist at like WB and they draw like Final Fantasy fan art. And I'm pretty sure that's not the same guy. No, it's definitely not. They wouldn't make a Flash game about that guy. <laughs> and if they did, it wouldn't be as good as Alex Chu in Mario World. Yeah, that's true. It is definitely not the same person, and I'm saying that explicitly because I don't want people oh. to be fucking weirdos to this person. No chat says clone. Oh, I, I mean, it might be a clone, but still don't be weird. <laughs> But the thing is, is once someone's cloned, they become a different person. They're no longer yeah. the same person. That's just how it is. That's that's how it works. Everyone knows that. I gotta add that song to the to my music list for streams. I kind of want to rip the the low bitrate version though. Is the thing. <laughs> Like, I, I, I like that song even more when it's impossible to understand the lyrics. They, they need to do uh, a DDR, like, greatest hits collection, like, for the game, uh, where you can dance along to the, the best songs in the series. And they need to include that song, but specifically the Alex Chu low bitrate version. <laughs> I would do DDR to a fucking, like, 20 kilobytes per second DDR song. I miss DDR. I'm mad that that game didn't have an ending. I hope they finish it someday. It didn't? No. The, oh, so the every every single time a level starts in that game, there's some text that says generating maze, and I ignored that because each level had a new image in the background. Mm -hmm. the, and then when I got to like level ten, I realized that the the image in the background for level ten was the same as level two. Oh no! <laughs> and with with how Without genuinely long, it was taking me to get through the levels. I like could not push any farther. There's no escaping from Alex Chu's dimension. 
and then I had three DK raps and I sang the AVGN theme and then uh, I went into the darkness. And then you died. Yeah. I miss you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Let me put my headphones on. I'm sorry that took so long, guys. I got intercepted. <laughs> I got inter yeah. I got intercepted and uh, my mom wanted to talk to me. Did I miss any notifications? Let's see. Oh no. Alex Chu with three dollars. Thank you, Alex Chu. We've been uh, talking about Alex Chu. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I can tell. Shrimp Toast two thousand with the five dollars. Thank you. And uh, am I all caught up? Uh, any subs? No. Uh, okay. We're good. Where are... Karak. Ooh, oh. okay. Thank you, 100% Kansas Beef with the $1. They say, this is important, please listen, before anyone complains about the cliffs looking weird and blocky in the Halo gameplay, it's because the Halo ring is rebuilding itself. It's an artificial world. Dumb dumbs, I'm going to kiss Master Chief. All right, we're moving on to Microsoft and the and already the the... the the Halo fanboys are out in full force to defend. I'll probably change the, uh, the the emote code away from his full name to something else, like just Wayner Scam or like Wayner yeah, Mario. Yeah, yeah, because you know having a dude's name is like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're gonna move on to Microsoft now. I got me another drink to replace my coffee. This is. Oh, oops. This Wait, is a... Mortality. This is uh Oh, you got a glass Coke. This is a cola uh, of un... Uh, of, of, uh, of, of a type of nature. Mm-hmm. It's brown. Sure is. It might, it might be my favorite, but I can't, I can't say. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't say what... I, I won't say what it is, because I... It's unethical. I, I don't know. It's a they're not giving cola. me. They're not giving me money. All right. If they want us to reveal the cola name, they'd sponsor Belt. Exactly. They'll probably are never. You, no. Nope. Ask screw it, it. It's a Coca Cola. I'm, they're never gonna pay me. <laughs> are or, you? Uh, what, do you? Do you? I don't know if it's true or not. Do you subscribe the whole thing that it's it's different in the glass? Like it's different. It's real sugar when it's in the glass bottle or something like that. I've like heard something like that, or maybe, or maybe it's when it's specifically when it's from Mexico. Mexican. I don't, I don't think it's different. This is like this does have real sugar in it. I that's what I'm going for. I'd rather have real sugar than corn syrup. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they're both equally as bad for you. It's just I think that it, the the taste is different. But for the glass versus no glass, I don't really care. As long Each as I see bottle of Coke is personalized. So all right, all right, all right. The Coke secret tips. Are you guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. So people like the glass bottle Cokes, especially the ones from Mexico, because they have real, they use real cane sugar instead of corn syrup. But, so it's, at the end of the day, it's not about the glass, right? It, it, it's, it's about like the taste of it versus real sugar versus corn syrup. But during Passover, they make Coke with real sugar for Passover. I believe they still do this. So you can get full like two liter Cokes. During Passover, made with real sugar in the plastic bottles. Look out for those. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I don't know if they still do it because I don't, uh, I don't drink too much real sugar, uh, real real soda anymore. I drink like seltzer and stuff. Um, so this is a special treat. Anyway, nice. time for Xbox. Let's see what they got. It's in 4K 60 FPS. I hope we get Viva Pinata Infinite. Me too. I want sure... Viva Pinata Eternal. I've already seen this, but I hope we get it anyway. It's in the replay. Oh, you've already seen this? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? They're releasing the Xbox 7. This is the console. Yeah. The console will be able to generate any number you want. And some pictures, but we don't what? have games in it yet, sorry. What's up? Okay, do you have a number? <laughs> what just 
does it all mean? Did it really play like this, I, guys? I, I just got here. What's wrong with the presentation? <laughs> oh, but they give a, oh, but they give a glitch. The time frame at the bottom is changing. That's that. That was a part of the original video. Yeah. If if you take this whole big long number, convert it to a binary string, uh, and then like feed it into like a base sixty four uh, interpreter, uh, you get the cheat code that unlocks Xbox Three. Note, note, guys, note that the sequence does not repeat. It's a unique number for everyone. Yeah, it, it's a, I think this is a unique number. This is Belp's specific number, and if, all right, they, all right, if they fuck catch this. you using Belp's number, <laughs> you do get arrested. Alright, screw that. I'm, I'm done messing with you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got. I hope they have Halo. Yes, face cam means you can see me trying not to laugh. This I'm is where the metal. Twist, it, twisted metal. This is this the is, guy. This is the guy who has wheels for arms. Car. This is where they build <laughs> the Xboxes. I, I will say, guys, if I get a chance to rehearse, I'm like unbreakable. But live, it's a different story. But I do a good job. Ooh, is this? Are they making the Xbox? Do they have to do this for every Xbox? Yeah, this is this is where and how they make. The Xbox new will be a hand. The Mjolnir Xbox suit. <laughs> it's a suit. <laughs> the first ever wearable game system. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. Xbox will save humanity. I didn't know they made Master Chief from pieces. I thought he was a guy. He's well, a guy. This, this, this yeah. Pay attention. Wait. Yeah. This is just the suit. It's the suit that jerks, jacks you off, right? He wasn't born in it. It's not his skin. Yeah, don't be a dumbass, Wayne. So I read, so like, back when Listen. they used to, back when they used to write like books for video games, like in the Halo novels, I remember someone saying like in the Halo novels, they detail how the suit jacks you off. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get excited until we see Axel from Twisted Metal. The Xbox right. suit is designed for one game only, and that is pickup sticks. You will be unable to bend over to pick up the sticks. Okay, it now... is a huge design flaw. Okay, okay, I we got apologize. tricked. We will not refund you. I got tricked. That was from a, apparently that was from a drill tweet. Oh wait, press start. I don't what? I don't have a controller plugged You're in. You're playing. Yeah, get ready, Bob. Come on, Bob. You're beefing it. Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, this is the release is date Master for the new Chief? Xbox, by the way. Is that Master Chief's voice. Right. No. They made him Irish. Yes. That's not an Irish accent! <laughs> you made him white. You are batting a fucking thousand today, my man. <laughs> I don't think he's white either! This isn't happening. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is the kind of commentary you bring to my stream? I, I bring the my my a game to your stream i ask about i ask i ask him i ask about dinner i ask about dinner again i talk about my dinner no. hey wait what are you having for dinner by the way oh i have no idea that's too bad you are free no you don't get to tell me what to do you don't get to tell me anything we're are you even listening i count three anti-aircraft cannons three what you'll be safe here I think there's something wrong with Master Chief. I love how is stiff it? his fucking delivery is. Are you the same guy? Yeah, this is the same yeah. guy from the trailer. Remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be no, out there from the trailer. No, from the original game. The voice home. actor for Master yes. Chief. I mean, I mean the way I mean the I mean like you have to remember how old the Halo games are and like when people do repeat performances after an extended period of time, it like it's never the same. It, you know, it's just how the cookie crumbles. The, the Master Chief in his heads-up display has a little thing that's like feeding him epic one-liner responses to this dude. Holy shit! Holy shit! Steel Paper Cranes just said, Fun fact, I didn't know this was sci-fi until I was in college. I thought it was Afghanistan. Oh no! <laughs> that, is the, that is the best thing you could have said. Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh, no. you, thought, you thought Halo was set- You thought Halo was set in Afghanistan? <laughs> <laughs> you 
saw, you saw. Afghanistan <laughs> just has the big ring in the sky. <laughs> oh, you know. The yeah, Afghani yeah, ring. I racked so much that every game runs. after is so hard to end you. Thank you, Casey and Hartley. <laughs> oh my god. This game looks okay. Yeah, I, I, I saw a lot of people say like, oh, this looks uh, not as good as PlayStation. And like, I'll be Who real. Who cares? I'll be real. Uh, there's a concept called diminishing returns. And at this point, like good graphics are just good graphics. Like this looks right. good. I don't care. Like, it looks good. Uh, I will say, I will I say like the, the art direction. Cap. Individual oh. enemy models do not look good. Those no. brutes look they, bad. They, they, what they said, what they said Sorry, was, what they said was, and this is very excusable. They said that this was rendered on a PC with comparable specs specs to an Xbox, and that currently, like everyone at Microsoft, is like scattered working from home. So it's like, okay, also this is I apparently get it. like a year old build. So yeah, I get uh, it. I I get how these things work. It's. Well, it's, it's also think... not even that big of a deal. It's like it looks good. It's it's supposed to be in motion. It looks good in motion. I do think yes. that there there's a chance that the open worldness is gonna be not good. Like yeah, maybe. I don't know because like I see the map and I see like how much this kind of looks like Destiny in a way. Mm -hmm. And I this see the tweet. A... Is this I open see world? A tweet. Yeah, kind it is open world. Did you see the, the map? It. It's like it's the. The tweet, there's a tweet that I saw that was just like, Master Chief, you need to destroy the alien outpost so we will gain crucial map information. Like, that just strikes me as what this game is gonna be. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it being open world instead of just like a regular shooter is like, I don't know. Also, like, speaking of Destiny, they mentioned on Twitter how like, um, or someone mentioned on Twitter at least, how like, this is basically the end of, like, numbered Halos as we know them, and this is going to be their platform for future Halo stuff. Really? They're just gonna yep. keep adding mm. to this game? Apparently. That's that's what they made it sound like. So that. I guess we'll see. They're gonna do that for, like, three years, and then they're gonna start over again. We'll see. <laughs> that's just how game companies work. They're gonna go, Halos oh, wait, is that was a shit game, everybody. idea. That was a terrible idea. Let's start over. <laughs> I like these very square-looking cliffs and stuff. Ooh, okay. I don't know how I feel yeah. about that. I, I like There's I real like clips that look like that in this in this trailer or demo I guess. Thank you, fortunate hazelnut, for the tier one sub. Thank I'm you, and thank you, steel paper cranes, for the two dollars and sixty nine cents. Yeah, that's the name. And the, the salt clips are a real thing. And information. I like I, I like, like this gun. Like can launch at you. Yeah, I like this gun because it reminds me of the fucking uh, the the one pulse gun from Doom. One pulse man. The one that like vents heat after you let go of the trigger. The guns look good. Yeah. The guns look. Yeah, I I was like okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like okay, okay, right, a new Halo game. But you telling me that it's a service game? It's an open world service game. It's like I don't even know what they could do. Mm. Like it's not. It, this isn't a multiplayer game, is it? I mean, it's going well, to have a yeah. multiplayer. Right, it will. It will have it's multiplayer. Be a regular but... Halo multiplayer. Yeah. So what is the like? What if I buy? If I buy the season passes, what will that give me? Who you knows? know? They haven't like... said officially. The grappling hook is not the most unique thing, but it looks cool. It looks I, I like the addition of like Probably grappling good. hooks and movement options in games. Uh, that fucking like Magnum revolver looks really piddly. I don't like it. It looks it's like a nerf. Magnum. That's, uh, Ooh, that was in okay. Halo 2 and 3, I'm pretty sure. Well, it was in Mono Pushing to see if you want to be what so we can reach the subtitles. Sounds okay and looks chunky, so that, I mean, oh. sure. Oh, people want subtitles. Thank I you. I don't think there's subtitles. No one's talking. <laughs> yeah, also. <laughs> I mean, they, they will be like, later, the so... Desire, the desire for subtitles is real. I'm not making fun they, of that. Uh... But I do think it's like, wait, I want to hear the grunts. I want to I read the subtitles yeah, yeah. of the grunts. Like, yeah. Ugh. No, Red Planet oh, on Mars... Here's some talking. Here's some talking. Here we Red, go. Red Planet on Mars wanted uh, subtitles. Thank you. Oh, it's Thanos. It's Winston. You're not totally wrong. Either one of you. <laughs> wait, wait, is that actually Josh Brolin? Or what's his name? I I could tell you it was no, that's not Josh Brolin. I mean, that's the guy who played Thanos. 
Is that the guy from the end of Halo 2? This is the guy from uh, Halo Wars 2. Oh, I'm not kidding. Who the fuck knows what that is? The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We it, it does just sound like Winston, kind of. honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I... Yuri, that's how out of touch I am with the Halo lore. I beat <laughs> Halo 2 and I didn't remember that they Hello. just totally killed that guy. And also, it's video games. Anyone can come back to life. They'll use yeah. Alan's shoot resurrection techniques. <laughs> oh, he's real! Oh, oh. This is my last he looks okay. True test of legends. Oh, imagine having teeth legend. like that. It'd be the worst. Why? You'd be so great at ripping up meat, etc. Yeah, but like they'd feel weird pressing together. No, they'd feel normal. Born with them. Yeah. Imagine if suddenly your teeth were like that. Oh, that'd be scary. That'd be horrible. I would like not want to like. I would need them either surgically removed or I would need someone to uh, do something to me. I would just ask for more teeth. Uh, I hate the brutes. I think they're the shittiest fucking enemy they ever added to the Halo franchise. And aren't they the main enemy? Yeah, that's which is why it's disappointing. Mm. Is they went from elites to brutes, and it's disappointing as fuck. But then they made right? the elites our friends. Yeah, well, that's, that is the good the side. That is the good thing, but players are still just stupid fucking gorilla men, and it's I'm incredibly lame. proud of the team at three, hey, four, three. Okay, I guess. We went from we're unique like lizard men with like four. Jaws. Jaws. I can't see the subtitles. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. I had to. I had to update the. I had to update my rating. You can drag the subtitle to the top of the screen. I can. Yeah. Oh my god! I didn't even know that! Oh, what? Oh, what? It jumps back down? Never mind. Look, you get one subtitle at the top of the screen. Screw it! Screw it! I thought you could move it! That's dumb! ...of Halo 5. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second, and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming months. This is the one person they have working on this game. He works in this facility. enjoy a glimpse what others in the Xbox That's the real Master family Chief. Have. Yeah. Waiting for the game to be released. World yeah. premiere. World premiere. World premiere. That's premiere. the best part of these conferences. Like, <laughs> yeah. World uh -huh. premiere. <laughs> Never before seen. Amazing. What is this game? Boring. Last of Us 3. Boring. You Last, of Us, La Last of Us Part. Boring. I'm bored. This sucks. But well, she's got a knife. Knife's is cool. Funny doggy. Alright, we're gonna need another game clam. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a weirdo. What it scares fuck? dogs away. I mean, what I a, guess. What a weirdo. I guess if you were like actually trying to survive in the woods, screaming as loud as I've heard people say that. I've heard people say that. I've heard people say like, if you are like actually face to face with like a wolf or a bear, and it is actually like looking to hurt you. If yeah, you, you just, scream at them. Yeah, if you actually That's scream. That's why humans scream, Bob. Yeah. That's what you do. That's animal why brain screaming goes... is a natural reaction to fear. Is animal scream. brain goes, holy fuck, scary sound, I'm out of out. Yeah. So, I guess that's... I can't eat this. It's loud. Yeah. We have a high-pitched scream. Oh, they got yummy gunk here. Ooh, we, we hurt animals here. Very filling. Oh. The, mm, the woods are full of There's a donut up gas. ahead. <laughs> there's a mm. donut up ahead. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's not a donut. Oh my god, a horse! Oh my god, a regular horse! What's a deal? State of Deer K3, everybody! I, there was I don't a know, of, I don't there know there anything was a state of the K2. They literally yeah. just <laughs> released two, like, recently. Really? Who cares? Well, uh, okay. Oh, I wanna Sorry. go here. I wanna go to the Plane of X's. Welcome, everyone. Uh, there's a <laughs> Hey, it's this ah, it's, ma ah, it's Today, Major Nelson. We're showing games. From Halo Finit. <laughs> Halo Finit. Studios, including <laughs> unveils. Oh, that's right. The they've uh, they've well, bought up today, like so many studios. Xbox they Yo, own all those studios now. They're they're they're, they're they technically they're first party studios now. Yep. We believe that. That's kind of weird. 
is as important and as it's mostly just them. funding they're not told what to make that is true is the best yeah way to discover which which i think is good and for things like uh double fine and obsidian as mm -hmm. yeah because they weren't ever gonna so game pass <laughs> get the funding they needed yeah, yeah for anything they already they spoke to, out about it they get to keep doing whatever they wanted to do and now microsoft is like yeah it's cool that this exists here's like a million bill gates bucks here's a million bill gates here's a million bill gates bucks to put it on our xbox and pc I'm glad yeah, that they made the, We're good. the Xbox Series X kind of like indented so you can put a basketball on it and it won't roll off. Because <laughs> that's where it belongs. You, you, also, you know, so, like people want like cup holders and stuff and like cars and chairs. This is the only game console brave enough to come with a built in fishbowl holder. Yeah. Oh, just, we're all in fishbowl. Uh, so I, was, I was talking with somebody about this the other day. Uh, the Xbox 360, Xbox One, people shorten that to X Bone. And now we have this long ass one, Xbox Series X. I figured it out. You just say XX. Yeah, no, I see the, the, the trailer. Xbox X. It's X no, just, just XX. It works on it works on multiple levels. X stands for Xbox. S E stands for Series X X Sex. Or it could just be X X XX. You still could, say it the same way. You could just call it Sex. X X. Uh, you can also X X. Oh, racing game. The Sex Box is oh, fine. God. Real. I'm going to just keep calling it the X Bex. <laughs> I like I like I'm gonna call it the fridge, because that's what it looks like. I like I like I like XX. I think that, uh... XX. Yeah. I never remember what the console is called, so I've just been calling it Fridge. People in chat saying you're just saying words. You gotta keep up. You're not even on the relative... Yeah, keep fridge. up, Everyone's guys. just saying words. That's Pay what conversation attention. is. Pay attention. This will be Pay on the quiz. Pay attention. Don't fail. Mom, can I have the new, new box? Dude, the Xbox has cars. I want the Grand Box Elite series. I I've heard that if you're like into racing games, Forza Motorsport is like the game series. So mm -hmm. I'm sure someone's excited about that, but not me. World premiere? Not anyone here. No. Nope. I'm gonna go. Viva Pinata! Viva Pinata! It's rare. Okay. It's rare. If it was Viva Pinata, you would have already seen Scorpy screaming. So we're good. I also I saw this yesterday, so I'm gonna, yeah. also yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'll be Has back. Hopefully, I'm back in time for the vlog. We all sense it. Fuck this! This isn't pinatas. I'm out. This is uh. <laughs> this this is... game. This game does look neat though, from what little of it we see. This is the least Dude, rare game I've ever seen. Yep. Like out of all, like out of rares, mo. There. This is the most like. Hey, we gotta actually try to do something different. Mm -hmm. Mainly we because. Don't see... Yeah. This we don't see any gameplay of this, but the trailer alone is interesting. So. <laughs> Have they talked about what kind of game this is? Uh, not that I remember. It's 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 a trailer with a neat concept, at least. Hey, they're bending. And in moments of stillness. That's what limbs do. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. It teaches us to look beyond oh, the expected. Oh, hurry to go with you. Oh! <laughs> Why did it do that? Oh, poor thing. To be light in dark places. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's the baby. To seek answers. Uh, uh, this, this is, is an evolution of uh, the Sea of Thieves art style for sure, though. Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, they're sacrificing it. Oh, no. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. Oh, they filled it with an evil spirit. <laughs> the baby is okay. The baby is so cursed. Yeah, they're actually cursing all these animals. They're not helping they have them. To. Not... They have to curse them because God wills it. And that was all God, right. and God is mad. I'm gonna pause it because uh -huh. my one pet peeve with that trailer, they don't have shoes. What? Why don't they, okay. they why don't they have shoes? I read somewhere that shoes are important. Are one of the most like crucial things that the human race has ever like shoe the concept of shoes 
increased like the human lifespan by like 20 years or something crazy like that because you're not stepping on random crap and the idea of like here are these people living in the wilderness they have no shoes that just sounds dumb to me well with all due respect they are wizards that is true wizards don't have any <laughs> sense of right or wrong they've got feet well, spells we'll i bet you a magical and untamed magic. natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose Wizards yourself. don't need shoes. I think it's everyone needs shoes. You know, I would be more and interested if I knew what this game was and I didn't just get to see what was in it. It's very pretty. What so is what? the game though? Are, are if you, he, okay, if you showed me Master Chief without me knowing anything about Halo, I wouldn't know what the game is. That is I see true. there's a guy, he's in a suit, he's got a gun. That is true. Is, Someone, is, uh, a, is it a, is it a top-down shooter? Is it an MMO? Is it an RTS? Someone, uh, someone, it already scrolled up, but someone had a really good, someone had a really good comment, which is like, those wizards have a life expectancy of 25 years because of no shoes. <laughs> and they make it the best 25 years ever. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. Life is Strange 5! Is this really what this is? No, but it's by the same people. Okay. Allison? Yeah. Tiresome. Oh, is this that, like, boy game? Boy kid game? That is like a spin-off? They, they no, made that, a... that's also a different one. <laughs> okay. So, so I have a lot of people. So I, so like... <laughs> So I have like no malice about these games. I've heard, like, uh, I do. You, I do. you don't you don't like these games? I well, okay. Let was me. Was on board. Uh, sorry, this is spoilers for Life is Strange, I guess. Right up until the end of Life is Strange, where the big twist is: Oh, do you leave your gay love interest to die, or do you kill an entire town of people? So I have friends who are like, I have I have friends who really like Life is Strange. But I'm not too hot on these Life of Life is Strange esque spin off games, whether it's by those companies or not. Like, like, I don't like playable young adult novels. Yeah, like that's also fair. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got that's literally all it is. This is a yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I get like magic, magic young adult the game. Coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. I didn't like young adult novels when I was a young adult. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. That was yeah, a bad, it's, bad voice yeah, that's a bad. There's... I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait for the big twist at the end of this one to be like, oh, the the boy character was a trans man, and also he's going to get murdered by wolves or something. Yeah. Oh no. Was it this? <laughs> Here's your representation. Now kill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that ball. You know, you know, you bring up a good point, girl. Like, hey, why don't they make like Dune, My name is like a I'm Dune a game in that style? Like, I'd play a Dune. That game. would be too bold. Nobody does anything <laughs> bold. Oh, it's Ori. Very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. The Will of the Wisps. We're now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. And already hey, someone, hey, Piss Boy has a good point. That guy's pupils are like giant. Rate. What? Uh huh. Is he, a, is, is he a staring at these high quality <laughs> graphics? <laughs> if you play Ori in the Blind Forest, your pupils get, your, it dilates your pupils beyond human capacity. I saw someone. FPS and your eyes expand. I saw someone like make a tweet uh, about this this morning, and it was something along the lines of like, world, uh, there's this really weird and interesting, interesting in the bad way, microcosm uh, of like games uh, discourse in general, where like you have people ranting and raving about how the new Halo game doesn't look next next gen enough. Uh, meanwhile, Microsoft is paying their indie studio to talk about how important it is that their fucking 2D Metroidvania can run at 120 FPS now. Yeah, it's weird. It's fucking weird. Someone said I look young. Thank you. I'm Asian, so I'm gonna look this old <laughs> until I'm. I, I, I'm gonna. I see. Oh. The, see this face. Oh, private division. See this face. It's gonna be like this oh, until I'm care. sixty. I don't care anymore. 
I hated this fucking game. Really? It was it was it that bad? I did not like. I, I just the whole like oh ho, ho, overly evil corporation thing just does not entertain me. It doesn't entertain you anymore. I find it tiresome. Yeah, it's it's like a played out cliche at this point. One, it's a played out cliche, and two, it's getting too close to reality at this point. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's like it's like. Fallout, Fallout New Vegas is like set in a, a fucked up world that is like way beyond fucked up compared to our world. It also doesn't have the like style that Fallout has. Yeah. Fallout, Fallout yeah, just has like nice design. I know it's trying to be its own thing, but its own thing sucks. Yeah. Fair. I heard I I heard people say that the writing wasn't as good. That it like kind of falls off. No, the off writing wasn't the very end. good either. I've, I've heard, like, a lot of really, really polarizing mixed things about this game. Like, some people are like, oh, it's great. It's like writing hits really hard. It's, like, really interesting. A lot of people being like, oh, this game is toothless and it barely says anything. So it's like, I kind of want to be the judge for myself, but also is it worth dropping the money on it right now? No. Probably not. I mean, I mean if I'll you have Game Pass and you're paying a dollar a month, sure. Yeah, I don't, though, so. Yeah. This one, though. This does interest me. Uh-huh. I want to get in on this. The biggest game <laughs> is this what I think it is? Yes. Then wait for Cyberpunk. <laughs> but if you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. Oh, wait. I thought this was going to be like a legit, like, so Honey, I Shrunk the Kids game. The makers of games that are nothing it is, like this more or less. One. No, it is, it's yeah. it, it's it's kids that are small and they're trying to survive. I was I was thinking like they would like have to fight their way back into the house, and I I want to I I want to play as Rick Moranis. <laughs> There's a character creator. Maybe they'll have Rick Moranis DLT. <laughs> All right. I mean, there's gonna be a new Honey and Shark the Kids movie with him. All right, in it. All right. guys. Yes? Yeah, they announced that. All right, guys. That's a promise. If there's Rick Moranis DLC for this game, I'll play it. <laughs> also, uh, this is out really soon in early access. Not for me. There's no Rick Moranis DLC yet. Oh, next fucking week. Yeah, July 28th, week. sorry. I'll be playing fucking next Destroy week. All Obsidian Humans. Uh-huh. I thought Obsidian was in... Every day when we come to the office, was in, was in like, Seattle. Whatever. Adventure, Doesn't... Gorgon. It's the first of two planned story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends from the private division. Now it's also See, that we continue uh, the Outer Worlds has to story live up to Fallout New Vegas, but Outer Worlds DLC has to live up to Dead Money and like the other Fallout New Vegas DLCs, like Burning Hearts. Yeah, like... Listen, I really like New Vegas and I liked a lot of its DLC, but honestly... Aside from like old world blues, it's not a very difficult bar to clear. Check this out. I don't know. No, it really isn't. I went back and replayed it, and like, what was the one where you're at the casino? Uh, Dead Money. Madre? Yeah, Dead Money makes my fucking brain melt. I hate that fucking DLC. Really? It legitimately killed my last gameplay. I, I really like it, but I get why everyone else hates it. it I it has fucking some don't like it at all. I like got into it and I remembered, oh yeah, it locks you in here and takes everything from you and forces you to finish it. And I was like, now, I no longer want to play New Vegas. Now this, now this game here is one that I'm really interested in. Old World Blues is fucking incredible, though. Oh yeah, Old World very Blues funny. Rules. Old World Blues rules because it saw that uh, stealth characters were way overpowered uh, and made an invisible actor that follows you around and makes stealth almost impossible. <laughs> is that how it works? Something to that effect, apparently. That's fucking funny. Hey, look, it's not Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. it's not Skyrim. Obsidian's making a first-person uh, fantasy Fantasy RPG game. set in the Pillars of Eternity world. Oh, which is dope! That's because Pillars cool. of Eternity has a really, really interesting universe, and I feel like Josh Sawyer, if he's not going to be at the helm of this, uh, is going to be involved in some capacity, because well, that POE is his baby. He made it. It's his. That does yeah. interest me. Josh Sawyer yeah. is a fantastic... Uh... Hey, the gameplay of Skyrim at the end of the day is really simple. I'm, I'm okay with it. 
But if you told me that, it, but if you told me that, hey, here's a Skyrim game, here's here's an Elder Scrolls game where the writing is actually good. Sure. Right. <laughs> he, he was hey, just I like Elder, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls lore. Me too. But like, I like Elder Scrolls lore. But like the writing of a lot of the games recently has been kind of piddly. Yeah. I can't with, argue with, with that. With the miraculous exception of ESO. Xbox Series X. Yeah, ESO is surprisingly not bad for a game that kind of spits in the face of some of the lore. Yo, is this guy's name Matt Booty? <laughs> Was it? Hold up. Hold back on. It up. Oh, we, we gotta go oh, back. Yeah, we're going back, guys. We're going back. This is important. Avowed is an expansive first person RPG. Yo, he's got <laughs> <laughs> that guy had a hard time in school. I'll tell you that right now. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Butthole. I'm here to talk to you today about Avowed. Dude, poor guy. Dude, poor guy. Dude, that's his last name. That means there's an entire booty lineage. Xbox Series <laughs> X. The whole family really, of booties. I really hope this man uh, married into a family named Butte. To bring their ideas we get the to booty life. butte. I'm excited to Welcome to the bo the booty butte wedding. <laughs> We're surrounded by booties and buttes. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head. But yeah, I'm I'm so fucking excited to hear more about uh, Avowed. I think was the name. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that. I mean, that was just a teaser. But yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm from I, I got a, I am interested. I, I really need to play Poe soon. I haven't played the games yet, but I fucking love the bits of lore I heard about the games in the world. I don't know shit about them. They're dope. Uh, if you like isometric RPGs, I don't. I do. Their conflicts firsthand, and in the process, I might stream that at some point. And this is quite powerful. Our first game. Spans 30 years I can't, in the American I can't Southwest. fucking play a game with a story. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I feel that sometimes. Anytime oh. I try to stream a game with a story, I get hung up after like a, two streams. Is this a is this another young adult novel game? Uh, I hope you enjoy the trailer. You'll see. World kind of. premiere. World premiere. Is it is it a game that's more story than game? Uh, we don't know. We haven't seen any gameplay of it, so. so then I'm thinking that's probably a yes. Then. It's. This is giving me that vibe already. G given what all the other games like this have been, uh, I will say at the very least, this does seem like a more interesting concept. Oh, is this a? Oh, is this a? Nope. No, I'm not interested. Is this? Oh, I I get it. I get it. This is just a. This is just an American visual novel. Exactly. On the ground, now. It's a visual novel with a different name so that people don't feel lesser for enjoying it. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. They tried to pitch this to AMC and they wouldn't take it. Honestly, so they made honestly, it. So they made an interactive game instead. That, honestly, that man sticking maybe. His tongue out. When I first saw this trailer, that man sticking his tongue out made me think he was gonna try and eat the gun. <laughs> I don't know why. Shit like this really just gives me the vibe of oh, we pitched this story to a TV company and they wouldn't take it. Hey, motherfucker, remember me? See. That just that like seriously, if you just like had that in live action, that would have been like an AMC trailer. Raise your character, you raise your character stats by <laughs> by working by out crying. to continue by we'll and to continue the story. Back in December. I'm I'm not opposed to games like that. And I might be interested in it if it's good. No, I, I, I mean, you can say about any fucking game. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not I I make jokes, but I'm not like super cynical. It's just that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. That's exactly I'm, it. I'm 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 the visual novel liker of the group, so I might like it. I so aside from the terrible DMC game, I have never played a Ninja Theory game. I'm wondering, like, but people speak aside from DMC, people speak highly of their work. So, S Senua's Sacrifice is a pretty good game with some like weird. I'm trying to think of the words to say this, but it it like uh, it's it says some weird things about like mental health and psychosis and stuff. 
What is this shit? They uh, are Hellblade. They are French, so I don't know what I was it's going with so that, but <laughs> I don't know. I just want <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Was Ninja Theory the one that made the really shit DMC? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I have not had any interest in them ever because I've heard such bad things about that. From here on out. His top knot looked like it was I hungry. I fucking love Automod constantly yelling at people for saying fuck the French. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. What, this oh, one? is this the double fine game? Yep. Yeah, I can already tell. Oh, they're making something other th Oh, no, way. No, this... I think this, this is, is Psychonauts yeah. 2. Yeah, 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 it is. I remember seeing this trailer. But... My man is here. My fucking man is here. Uh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Fantastic work. Oh, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. We got Jack Black on the line. Shall we start rocking? I still need to play Psychonauts. You never played you Psychonauts played 1? Probably nope. been a long time. Hey, I've, I've, had a, I've had a ton of people tell me, yo, you gotta play this, you fucking love it. And I'm like, yeah, I probably would, and then never did. I, uh, let me just say, as someone who has played it twice, I don't think it's aged too well. You should, like, but it, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm, I'm willing to put up with some cruft in an old yeah. platformer if the idea really grabs me. Also, the fucking, the visual direction, uh, in, like, this scene Neither is so fucking cool. I'm surprised Jack Black can still sing. I love it! I feel like Ooh. he hasn't done a song in, like, a decade. I mm -hmm. mean, I mean, his, his, I mean, his side thing is the band. I'm pretty sure the band still goes, no matter Dude, what. are they? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Tenacious D, I, like, still is going at it. That's his thing. I, Huh, I feel like I haven't heard them do anything for like a decade, but I guess I'm wrong. Good for them. Jack Black is healing me. Yes, it's popular YouTuber Dubinsky Games. <laughs> forgot about that. That's something he did just because his son forced him to. I don't think his son forced him to. I think it's I, like... I, I think, think his son like coerced a, him to. I think it's like a, hey, I'm rich, let me just do this, fuck it. No, his yeah. son coerced him into I, I, I think it was a case of his son being like, hey dad, we should try this, it'd be dope, and him being like, yeah, okay. Jack yeah. Black seems like he'd be cool with something like that anyway, he's a, so... He's a pretty rad dad from what I've seen. Yeah. I love the way this fucking looks. Mm -hmm. Not exactly the style I expected, but I'm not opposed to it at all. I mean, didn't, didn't the different worlds in Psychonauts have, like, different art styles? Yeah, they yeah, did. But... But this seems like the overall theme for it. Mm -hmm. It's like the somebody's brain up. riddled with LSD. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it does seem to be an older musician, so... <laughs> what a... Well, hold up. What a smart... No release date, though. What a smart delivery. Uh, Do we know what this means? Uh... Is that... Does that mean it's, like, it digital only or something? Probably. I had to... I think it has something to do with Game Pass. Uh, oh, um, Microsoft's Xbox announced its new smart delivery feature that allows gamers to purchase game games only once, even when they upgrade their, their physical consoles. Ah, oh, that, yeah, that's cool. So it, it's literally just like a uh, key being attached to your account. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And people a are that most things have. Uh -huh. people, and people are saying it's coming out in 2021. There is one developer what, Psychonauts? That yeah. I mean, that's a fair Not estimate. But in People in chat are saying that at least. Release date moved to 2021. This fall, yeah. I mean, yeah, I expected, but like, yeah. they Xbox didn't say anything in that trailer, you know? So it was like, oh. Xbox I... It's whatever. You are one oh, it's Destiny 2! Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think about trying to get back into Destiny, Destiny 2. But... Same. It's lost me forever. You I know, I I never I never uninstalled it, and I want another Root Toot and Shooty game. Mm -hmm. 
I'll I'll probably like if I don't give it another go like anytime soon. I probably when like the new expansion drops. Ready to yeah. point and shooting. Yeah, exactly. I I just like I like I like Crucible. Here's an all new look. I was good I like, at it. I like the dungeons and the raids. <laughs> yeah. I uh. I liked I liked Gambit. <laughs> Is this Destiny? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Born out in the darkness. They're showing off uh, the new expansion. Closer. It's time to step beyond the light. The thing about Destiny was that, uh, like, I I tried to get too MMO with it. So like, all I that's did the thing. I, 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 like, played a lot of the PvP, but then I was like, well, if I don't have the best gun, then I'm a scrub, and I want yeah. the best gun. But then it's like, the best like guns are so, the best guns are always so hard to get, and it's like, it's subjective, right? Because it's PvP, you know? Right. So, like, I don't know. Next, next time I give it another try, I definitely have to go into it more casually so I don't, like, fucking burn myself out. Yeah. Anyways, these new powers look fucking wicked cool, so... I'm the guy that would grind forges all day <laughs> to grind to get the funny guns. See, that was the thing was once it once it became like it wasn't just a game where I could run around and shoot things. It was oh, I need to grind to get this gun to grind to get this gun to grind. It was like fuck this. There's the MMO stank I was afraid of. Xbox Series X will empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life like never before. Unique perspectives. Unexpected Someone said Destiny 2, the Steve game. I know this. What does that what mean? That mean? Yeah, what does that what's mean? What's a Steve game? What's a Steve oh, no. game? Elaborate? Don't elaborate. I think it's funnier if we never know. Yeah, that's maybe, fair. Maybe it's funnier <laughs> if we never know. <laughs> uh, There's I like... only two Steve games I know, and that's Minecraft and Warframe. ESO uh, is the MMO I've enjoyed because it doesn't have the typical stank of just like mm -hmm. grinding for new items. Uh, real quick, I don't know if I missed this, but thank you, Fortunate Hazelnut, uh, for subbing. Just in case I missed that, I'll repeat it. All right, what hey, is hell this? Hell yeah! I don't remember what this is. Oh, right! I remember what this is now. Is this funny or good? You'll see. It's it's not funny, but you'll see. Oh, I know what this is. I had heard about this. I didn't watch this whole conference, so I didn't know this was in here. I don't know if this is the thing for me, but the, I think the Get fact that it is, is really cool. I had heard they they'd been talking about how they were doing this for like a good two, three years now. Mm-hmm. Good to finally see something of it. This is a game I should play on stream. Hell yeah. Not like this one specifically, but this franchise. Right. The one everyone knows. Oh, is this Stalker? Yeah, hey, there you go. Never mind. Curtis I know he, he he figured it out. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so <laughs> there's certain things here where it's like, oh yeah, that's Stalker. Like this. Uh huh. Shit. Uh, so Stalker is one of those games where. Oh, by the Stalker. Oh, by the way, thank you for subbing, Smug Ladies. Smug ladies. Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I like your work. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Stalker is always one of those games where like, hey, I know, I know how good it is, but I just never have taken the time to play them. Same. I've tried. God knows I've tried. I just like get lost and confused. It, it seems like the kind of game that you need to put like time and effort into getting into, and like that, that's uh -huh. fair. I can respect a game for doing that. I'm I'm I I'm pretty good when it comes to horror stuff, Word. but I feel like if I tried playing Stalker, yeah, I just get lost and confused. <laughs> like, I wouldn't know what to do next. Stalker is a uh, bleak Russian Fallout. Yep. Yeah, and it's like actually horror. Like it's actually it's tries like, yeah, to scare it's not, you. It's not yeah. like funny. Like it's just like actually fucked up. That's Again, I don't. Cool. I don't know if it's the game for me, but I really like that it exists. Yeah, it's cool. You're it's Ukrainian, cool. excuse me. <laughs> Fair, yeah. This, I, I can Oh, this is this is. I think this is what I think it is. Crackdown five. We're skipping nope. four. My Lord Inquisitor. Yep. We've reached a term of prime and begun our investigation. So, did you did you notice the big like uh, logos at the beginning that said Warhammer? No, I actually didn't. Oh right, it's happening right now. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was earlier. I'm misremembering yesterday. Oh yeah, I heard it's a Warhammer 40k game. Yeah, I heard inklings yep. about this. This is like a Warhammer 40k FPS. 
So, right? Uh, do you remember Vermintide? Yeah. Oh, it's that, but in 40k. <laughs> what if Vermintide in the future? Oh. Darkmind. See, that's more interesting to me. Were, were, were the Vermintide games any good? I never played them. Yeah, people like them. People like them. Okay, the missile probably I got bored really, good. really I got bored really fast with them, but having guns might make it more World interesting for me. Premiere. Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah, because I remember it was like melee weapons and stuff like that. Melee and like some magic. People and... in chat are like, oh, no hammer, zero out of ten. Consider the fucking wacky guns in 40k and also yeah. chainsaw sword. Yeah, like oh there's my... some whack ass shit. Power Whoa. fists. This is oh, the this most. Is so, this is so powerful. The graphics as, are so realistic. Oh as my the god! the person that played 40k, like the tabletop, there are some dope ass melee weapons in that universe. I also, the graphics are now the real. Tabletop. The graphics are so good, guys. Oh my god! The, the 40k tabletop is really fun, but way too fucking expensive. Oh, I recognize yeah, this dude song. Had, like, a shitload of fingers. I I recognize mm -hmm. this song. I think I know what this is. I just, oh, I remember what this is now. Yeah. Is this about how gamers, uh, just no. gaming bring us together? No, oh, God, I, no. no, I know what this okay. is. What the fuck? I love this song. Yeah. It's Tetris. Uh -huh. I, re I recognize the song because I've been playing the Tetris soundtrack for my BRB music. They, they put out Tetris effects uh, on PC on the Epic Store. And I've been meaning to get it, but now that they announced this, I might just like wait for this. What is this? Uh, I guess we'll see. It's an, it's oh! An expanded version of Tetris oh, of hell yeah! Oh, multiplayer! I'm not, I'm, I'm not good. Co op at multiplayer! What? Oh, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, the world's on fire. What the fuck? That's interesting. But it's just. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh yeah, it's I, gonna be I on PC. Okay. This is gonna be like an update to the to the epic version. That made it look like that. I have no idea. Let's see. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about Tetris Effect. I should play it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, timed exclusive on PC. Interesting. Oh, sick. You uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's timed see. E timed exclusive sounds sounds like it means that it's on Xbox for three <laughs> months. Ooh. Oh, that here is. we go. In summer 2021, Enhanced says Tetris Effect Connected will arrive as a free update to the existing PS4, Epic Game Store, and Oculus Quest versions. So I can just get the Epic version now and fucking rock out to the single player. Yeah. Also, this game looks cool. This is familiar. I think I've seen. I've seen this a is... picture. This is the game they made for me specifically. I'll be down. You like cleaning up gunk? Yes, and I like playing as people with huge fucking fists. Ah. Uh, your two characteristics. Yeah, it, it was made by the people that did the SteamWorld games, and SteamWorld I Dig was that. a really good platformer, so... Thank I you! I trust them to make a 3D platformer. Thank you, Deacon Le Derp, for the one month, uh, for the sub. Hell yeah. Enjoy your wings. Also, the name of the game is really good. They named this oh, game yeah. for me specifically. I remember, I because I remember fucking. Uh, is it called? Is Jeff, it called Jeff? Jeff Keeley's tweet. <laughs> the gunk. He just, he just shouted the gunk on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Swiftly grits. Thank you for the uh, sub. Hell yeah. They should have named it. Uh, Taste the gunk. But you don't taste it. You maybe, shouldn't. Maybe you do. You could, but you shouldn't. Oh, evil moth. Like a Let moth, moth to, a to a flame. Fire. Oh. <laughs> oh, that moth turned into words. Have you ever wondered why the moth tries to fly so far up to the sun, lol? <laughs> Moths actually aren't that stupid that they'll fly directly into a fire. Yeah, I they don't. From. They don't. Well, this, this one is cursed, I guess. Uh, what game is this? What kind of game is this? I remember watching this and thinking, oh, is this gonna be Resident Evil? No. It's not. I mean, it seems like it's like some kind of horror game, right? Too cinematic for Resident it's, Evil. It's, it is a horror game, yeah. yeah. That's right, The Blair Witch 2! Yeah, it's me, The Blair Witch 2! See? Man, 
Man, I, I, uh, well, we'll watch the trailer and I'll, I'll pause the stream to talk about it uh, later. It's, it's not actually Blair Witch. I know, I know, but I want to talk okay. about the Blair Witch game that came out recently. Go for it, yeah. Cause like, uh, we'll wait for this. We'll wait for this to be over first. Wait, dual reality. Dual reality gameplay. Wait. Oh, okay. So it's you play in both. Okay, so it's split screen, but it's a single player game, and are like both sides happening at the same time? Is that how? I it don't works? think it's split screen. I think it's literally just you can jump between dimensions. You, you, I, my I, understanding. No, I get like, it. I get it. But yeah, that I feel like that'd be cool. I feel like that'd be cool because then like. If things are happening in one world, but you have to do things in the other, I see like mm -hmm. this is- See, I think that gameplay would actually be kind of good. Or maybe oh, the, it is on like split screen all at the same time, I don't uh, know. It's the upside down! Oh, holy shit. Someone in chat uh, says, The devs patented this gimmick so no one else can use it. That's Fuck gross. Them. That's, That's so, so gross. That's fucking scuzzy. That's Sorry, you're not I made that joke about like a uh, fucking- Oh, I don't even remember the name. <gasps> I changed my mind. Game sucks now. So, like, fuck off. So, uh, what I was about to say with the Blair Witch game. Stranger they, Things. They announced a Blair Witch game, right? Uh -huh. They sh they shouldn't have done that. They should have made a super generic sounding game, but promoted the hell out of it. Like, Microsoft should have dumped... T like whoever the company was, like whoever was publishing it, should have dumped super tons of... Like, the normal amount of money, right? Mm -hmm. But just been like, oh, it's whatever. It's a whatever game. Because the buzz that would be generated by people going like, wait, this was a Blair Witch game. That mm -hmm. would have been so good. Because that that's how the first, that's how Blair Witch worked, right? People were like, okay, this is a horror movie. But they didn't like get it. It was all like super like, uh, it was, you know, you know what, you know about the Blair Witch, right? So they should have just yeah. done that. They should have been like, here's a generic game. It's, I guess it's going to be kind of scary. And they should have let people figure out that it was a Blair Witch game. That would have been dope. Mm-hmm. World premiere. Uh, I'm going to be... They, they, they could have pulled a fucking frog fractions and it would have been dope. Exactly. Yeah. I got to blow my nose. Hold on. Go for it. All right, I'll see you later then. Sonic All-Stars at the Olympics! That never happened. Oh, PSO. I played the tutorial for this game. I never played PSO. And then I uninstalled it. I was like, oh, maybe I should get into this. All my friends sound like they want to get into it. And then like three days later, everyone decided they didn't want to play it anymore. Three so days like, okay. is being very generous about how much time. I'll save myself was, the hard drive like, space, It was guess. more like uh, seven hours. <laughs> like, no shit. Everyone played it for, like, a few hours one day, and then, like, never again. So, people who know about PSO, who installed it when it came out, were like, okay, I get it. And then everyone who wanted to play an MMO but didn't know what PSO was just got pissed off. Like, Wayne was like, I hate this. I don't know what I- I don't know how to skill my character. I don't know where to skill my character. I don't know what I'm supposed to do or who I'm supposed to talk to. Mm -hmm. And 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 he just got stuck in a casino and like got mad. <laughs> this 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 thing that they're announcing here is fascinating to me because like at at first glance it sounds like oh it's like an expansion to PSO2, but it's not. And yeah, then I read just... into it about it being like a new like like a, like a reboot, like a new platform and ecosystem. And I was like, okay, this is like an FF14, a Realm Reborn thing. But it's not, because they're keeping original PSO2 running. But this is PSO2 too. I mean, what? I mean, I'm down for that. Because here's, because it's, it's kind of like RuneScape, right? They want to make a new RuneScape that isn't bloated and crappy. But there's so right. many people who have old, like, beefy RuneScape OSRS accounts that, like, will be mad if they shut it down. So it's like, okay, I guess... I guess we'll just like run both. I get it. Okay, that that was a good analogy. Mm -hmm. Right? People... It, it makes sense, but it, it's still it's still whack to me in concept. You know? I have I have ninety nine rune crafting. You can't take that away from me. 
I don't. This, I don't know what this is. This looks. Isn't like this? Isn't this so interesting? How it's military men. With oh, guns? Destiny! I know that game. <laughs> I love military men with gun. What? Is but it? no, you you don't understand, girl. That guy had a glowing cyber knife. So military is this? Military men is with this... glowing cyber knife. Hold on, is this not Call of Duty? <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Chat, is this not Call of Duty? It's wait, too cinematic to wait, 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 wait. Someone, fucking, oh, oh yeah, Fire X. Someone just said, yeah, this is the trailer that uses the dramatic slow cover of X gonna give it to you. Is that what this is? I think so. Yeah, look at the captions. Jesus Christ. Oh my Christ. God. Oh, listen, it is. listen, there are, <laughs> listen, there are so- knock, knock, open up the door, it's real, from the something, 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 the stainless steel. Knock, yeah. Knock, open up the door, it's real. Yeah, there are, oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> listen, <laughs> there are Who some cares? songs, you there's, oh, it's Matt Booty. There are some songs you can't cover. X gonna give it to you is not a song you can cover. Oh, uh, Malcrimi in chat says that it was a Chinese multiplayer game that they're giving a single player campaign. This is just what? At some of the new titles I got, I'm gonna look this up. Xbox Series X. I that sounds so weird. I believe it. Crossfire sounds like a Chinese game. Crossfire is an online tactical FPS for Microsoft and was developed by Smilegate Entertainment. The game was released in China by Tencent, with the company also acting as the exclusive agent service company. The tests for software bugs were started publicly in April of 2008. Whoa, that's old! This game is from 2008-2009. Series X and Game Pass. Xbox is the huh? place to play. Hang on. I'm, I'm gonna show you the, the center, one picture for this everything. game that's on the Wikipedia article. I'm gonna now, put it in the stream zone. Yeah, yeah, go for well, it. Well, remember how TF2 was had Xbox nine years of development? Today, Hopefully it will have been worth the wait. I guess that's, that's not out of the... That's not unheard of. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Uh-huh. Alright, one last world premiere, guys. World, yeah. world premiere. premiere. Forest, forest game. Oh, I remember what this is now. Playground, playground game. I want to go to the playground. I want to play. All right, Oogie treat. Woogie. All right, sword, 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 so fairy, Legend fairy, of Zelda, fairy, Zelda seven, fairy sword, skeleton deluxe two. River, for fairy river fish game. All right, here's what's gonna happen: is this fairy's gonna get squished, and then it's gonna be a guy with a gun, and it's gonna be. Uh, funny. Mushroom. <laughs> Gert, Gert, did you watch this yesterday? No. Okay. I just could tell. Yep. I could tell. I could uh -huh. tell from the way they do this shit because it's all so fucking generic. But guess what? No guns. There was, there was no gun. But, it's people, I mean, baby. Like, that's just how this shit works. Is like. Damn, oh, I, you called it. Fantasy. No. Like, uh -huh. it's, it's, you called it. Ooh. With fairies and goblins, one man is brave enough to, to make to... an epic joke. Uh, check it out. Uh, a frog ate the fairy, guys. That's crazy. Coming, coming summer twenty. Why they show it again? They show it again. Epic again. fantasy, but dark and fucked up, and a little bit funny. Was, yeah, was the world was the world asking for a fable reboot though? Some people were Someone actually. Was. I'm sure. Yeah. I've never played a fable game, so I have no stake in this. But some folks sounded like they were real happy about that announcement. The the rest of this is just like a sizzle reel. By the yeah, way. that's what I'm thinking. It's a, shame, it's a shame E3 didn't happen because there would have been uh, people embarrassing themselves on a stage in between all of that otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All and right. that would have made it far more entertaining. All right, guys. Hmm. So, my rating. And this is a cumulative rating, so that's why I said this would go down. Six out of ten. There was not much there for me to, to chew on. Enjoyment. That's a very fair rating. Enjoyment stays a seven out of ten. I'm still having fun with you guys, both mm -hmm. uh, both with Holly and Gurren, with you and Chat. Hey, yeah, I yeah. really gotta take a break. So, Are we slopping after that. 
Oh yeah, I think we're slopping after that. Oh hell so yeah. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna mute myself, and we are gonna listen to some tunes. We'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Slop it up. Let's get so silly sloppy with it. Oh, yeah. How you doing, chat? You having a good day? You enjoying the stream so far? I hope you are. I'm good. Hey, you know, if you're liking what you see on the stream and you want to you wanna help uh, you wanna keep, help keep the show running, uh, there's all kinds of links and funny ways you can do that. Phelps not here to do the plug, so I'm going to do the plug for him. Uh, you know, you can always, uh, there's a golden uh, frog at the bottom of the stream. You click on that, you can give Belt, uh, some of your money from, uh, through PayPal and Streamlabs and stuff like that. Yeah, you just go uh, to helps. Streamlabs, uh, you type in, uh, M-A-S-T-E-R-G-I-R. No, 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 <laughs> lying, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> you can, you know, it, 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 <laughs> For food and bills you and can help pay that, you can pay bulb that, that helps that helps keep the show running you can also fall for master Gur's trick and give Gur your money it also helps <laughs> him pay bills and stuff <laughs> but that won't go to belt that'll go to Gur. <laughs> yeah I, that, that's there's the difference there you can subscribe to the channel so you get access to all sorts of funny delicious emotes like uh video or bob ball or brain or cup man or pasta i'm gonna post them all right now in chat uh lots of funny little pictures for you to use piasta you can also gift subs you can gift uh as many subs as you want to uh the, to the community and then people uh will get to enjoy the emotes themselves did you know uh, that there's an option to give 100 subs, and it costs 699 Canadian dollars. <laughs> Did you know it costs 69 dollars Canadian for 10 subs? Nice. Wow. That's, uh, unfortunate. I think it's nice, though. Do you? Yeah. I mean, it's check, fucking expensive, it but it's out. a good number. Yo, you can feed a fat worm and your baby some chips. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on just a sec. Yeah? Just a sec. Just wait. <laughs> this is my Nintendo Wii, but just wait. Wait till I turn it on. <laughs> just wait. Oh, oh what the? That's so weird. Oh, Someone just gave a gift sub to Master Gur. Now he can. Now he can. Feed now I can do it. Thank you. I've gotten like four, <laughs> four of the crew's gift subs in this week alone. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to hit the anonymous button and forgot to. I guess. <laughs> nice. Oh well. Oh, be right. eating pasta. Oh, wow, spigot. He's chips with the baby, and Steven is watching. And also, Holly is there. <laughs> oh no, I put two chips instead of a baby! It's fine, it's fine. Steven gets chips instead. That's true. <laughs> oh nice, I like the trog one. The trog ones are really good. Hey, if you want to support the entire team, uh, I can guarantee we have some of the best emotes on Twitch.tv. And, and you can else? mix and match them into all kinds of fun flavors. Where else are you going to get this? Where else are you going to get buff milk drink? <laughs> Wayne doesn't get why I like these eyeballs so much, but these eyeballs have so much utility. The eyeballs are so good! They rule! I can't wait for the day the rest of us get partners so we can all just like have a bunch of dumb fucking emotes. <laughs> I can't believe Nera cheated and got a partner. It's wild. I've been waiting for almost two months. You and I both. I and, think... and I, I think she got the fast pass because of like Europe, which is wild. Yeah. Good cheater. Fucking imp. <laughs> it's in character. 
That fucking just like boundless fucking luck. <laughs> I'm happy for them though. Yeah. Of all the people who need money, Mira's on top of the list right now, so... Yep, so... <laughs> Does Europe have a different application process? No, but uh, we're pretty sure they have, like, different regional teams, they you know? Have, like, they have the they team have like, North America. Finland's got less competition than the United States of America and Canada midday. Oh, hello, right. hello. I'm and back. I I, I, I did the whole plug for you so people know they can give you their money to help support oh, the show. Oh, thank you! A plug? Yeah. Ah, they that's very generous for you. And, uh... And then, then Gerd tried to trick them into giving him money instead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try to trick them. I knew they were smart enough to know. That. It was a joke, to be fair. Okay, okay. Uh, I, what's that's going fine. on? <clears throat> what? Alright, real quick, I'm gonna put okay, up another... I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We're gonna do real quick though. We're gonna do another vote, um, cause you guys get to pick what happens next. I think the. Uh, what's next? Slop. Well, no. What conference we're gonna watch after the slop? So I think it's oh, EA, the slop conference. Uh, Ubisoft, and that's it. Right. Go that? ahead and vote. Uh, what you want to see after this? Um. But yeah, okay, so thank you for that plug. Thank you for that spiel. Uh, I got some people to thank now, unless you thank them already. Uh, I did not, go for it. All right, all right, we, we got to play catch up. Uh, thank you, Blue Moon 2723 for the one gift sub. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Holly, for the one gift sub to Gur. Thank you, Anon <laughs> thank you, Anonymous. For the, uh, thank you, Anonymous, for the one gift sub that goes to Pal Moxalon. Enjoy your chicken wing. Swiftly Grizz, also <laughs> subscribed. And for tips, let's see. We have... Uh, okay, we, we didn't read this because it's $3 for the TTS. But uh, Steel Paper Cranes says... Bro, I never saw any of it. Ooh, okay. No, he refused to give all away right. any of my money. He will be given nothing. Nothing at all. No money. No ne. Zero. Less than a penny. No ne. Well, thank you, KC and Hartley, for the $3. Uh, Steel Paper Cranes donated $2.69 saying, Bro, I never saw any of it. I just lumped all of them shooty bro games together in my brain. Oh, they're talking in reference to they're talking in reference to thinking Halo was set in Afghanistan. Also, <laughs> I was the president of my college's sci-fi club, so I guess mock me. Yes, I'm giving you money to clear my name. Okay, I'm embarrassed. Ah, don't be embarrassed. That's a funny story. Funny yeah. stories like that are great to to have. That's a good conversation start. You don't have to be embarrassed if it's funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Red Planet on Mars. Thank you for the three dollars. Plant Cat. Thank you for the fifteen dollars. Gur Evil Moments and Casey Ann Hartley who just donated. Uh, am I all caught up with notifications? Yes, I am. So for anyone who just tuned in, uh, what I will be doing, what I'm doing today, I should say, is we're gonna go through all of our all of the games presentations that I've missed. Um, let's view the results. The What did you guys want? You guys wanted Ubisoft next. Okay. But before that, it's slop time. So let me... Give me time to... I'm going to take out my headphones again and adjust the camera because I need to put into put into a different spot. Uh, but then we're going to make and try Wayne's slop. This is Wayne's slop, okay? We're going to give it a review. <sighs> Boom. Review. Wait, I love how from the deep. I love how big of a deal you're making of this. It's a big deal. It's a big slop. We're getting so silly sloppy with it. It's huge. Leak the slop recipe. I'm sure Bob will go over it whenever he does it. It's not. Here it's it is. Barely Milk a Oreo. recipe. 
There are two ingredients <laughs> and one. There's one step. Milk, Oreo, squish. See, Tori knows. <sighs> oh God damn it! I'm so sleepy today. I went out and bought a fucking topper for my mattress because that shit kept me up till like three in the morning, the hurting my shoulders. Of the popper most. I need a new mattress, bad. Unless this topper works and then I can put it off. <laughs> That's just great. Thanks. <laughs> Get Gurum mattress fun will happen if this topper doesn't help. I'm not kidding. Gurum needs a fucking mattress. That's we'll good. see. I will find a modestly priced one. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to need uh, a purple mattress. Please give me $4,000. Gur's incredible $75 fundraiser. Not maybe not quite that modest. I don't I don't know how much mattresses cost. <laughs> they are fucking expensive. Are they? It's like investing in a computer. Oh jeez. I like the. Oh uh, wait, uh, I was computer. muted. I you like my janky setup here? I I'm my webcam is confined to my room. I wish I had like a a wireless like maybe I should have pre-recorded this, but whatever. That would I, I'm doing it live. I'm gonna do okay, it live. We're doing it live. Yeah, fuck it. We're doing it live. All right. So, wait. Give me the instructions here. What do I do? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So do you have a bowl? Yes. Why is the uh, camera in reverse? So take. Anywhere, I usually do like five or six or more Oreos. Let me get the however many Oreos here. you want. I like if you want if you want like like a good little serving of it. I would do like six. That's that that's like two servings of Oreos. I think I think a six Oreos. I'm pretty sure a serving of Oreos is three Oreos, bro. All right, so it's six, two. Yeah. So six Oreos in the bowl. So oh, there's three servings of Oreos. Yeah, so six Oreos. They're going to be compressed. Right. Which makes them less calories. That is how that works. Yeah, the... exactly. <laughs> All right. Now you want to pour just a, just a, just a, a couple splashes of milk in there. Not a whole lot. Okay, let me put the rest of the Oreos back in the box. The majority of this ingredient, of this recipe, the majority of the ingredients here is the Oreos. Oreo. Oreos. Okay. Oreos. <laughs> so what, what do I do next? Now you're just gonna you're gonna pour in some milk. You just want like a little bit at the bottom. You don't want a whole lot. Fucking Tanner made like a, a like a a full Tupperware of this. Like he used a gallon of milk. Like it was ridiculous. <laughs> Is that okay? Just a little? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit more than that, I think. Okay. Just a little like bit. half a cup, probably. Okay. Yeah. That's good. No. No. That's too much. Okay. That should be good. Okay. So now. First step for the mixing, you got you to use the spoon. You got to, like, smash them. It's, you don't just stir it yet. You got to break them into pieces. Okay. So now, you know, thinking thinking about it, actually might be better to do that before you put the milk in. Maybe oh, wow. I could improve the recipe a little bit. No, I, I never do that. I always put the milk in there. So, yeah, just break them up. Break them up. Okay. And then once once you've thoroughly got them broken up enough, then you start stirring. And you want to whip it up like a batter. It should it, it should be the consistency of a batter or a pudding, and if it's not, you need to add a little bit more milk. Or if it's too wet, you fucked up. There's nothing you can do. The I mean, you could add more Oreos, but then why would it work so better? Far. Why would it work better with stale Oreos? Uh, yeah, you're on the right track. You could use a blender. In fact, this would be ten times easier with a blender. You should use uh, your fists. Why waste electricity? All right, it's a looking... hand a hand crank blender. This is hot. This is how it's looking so far. Uh, I can't really tell. It looks it looks maybe a little too thick. It should be a little more soupy. And I mean, more... you could eat it either way. I'll have a little bit more milk. What what kind of consistency do you want? Do you want a thicker? mush or do you want to do you want a little bit of more soupy kind of pudding 
Yeah, like that. That's good. There we go. It's never going to look good, guys. I, I need to say, like, if you don't like Oreos, okay. If what you don't do like you? Oreos and milk, okay. If you sh if you like those two things and you shit on this recipe, you're like, you're not thinking. It's yeah. literally just Oreos and milk. You know, now that I think about it, this is just so Oreos and milk. You know what? I think I would like it with some chunks. Is that acceptable? If I have chunks in there? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't, I like, I don't make it that often, but some of the times that I do make it, like, there are some, it's, it's grits, Oreo grits. That makes it sound so much worse when you call it that. <laughs> Somehow slop is more appealing than grits. <laughs> Oreo slop is truly perfect. If well, guys, you do not get in on this amazing new generation of cookies and milk, you are stupid. Yes, I know it's insulting, but that's also the truth. Guys, I think okay. it's guys, I think it's done. Your lighting is horrible. That just looks like a pit of darkness. <laughs> it does. The demons put me in there. We've we've created solidified despair. Now eat up. I think Enjoy you're pretty much good. It Enjoy your good. bowl of tar. Oh, that <laughs> looks bad. Tar. All right, I'm gonna switch back. Uh, give, you <laughs> give you one. Give me one. Take a bite. If you take a bite and you think it's too thick, you can always put more. That is true. In. That is true. I use I use this substance to fuel my Wonder Bread maker. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm gonna put my milk back because I it's it's warm in my house right now, so I don't want it to like be outside of the fridge for too long. But we're gonna give it a taste test, and when we come back in uh, in a minute, we'll we'll uh, we'll have the taste test. Get stay stick around. Someone said someone said, why don't you just dip the Oreos in the glass of milk? You understand nothing. The you don't understand anything. The, if you if you put the Oreos in the glass of milk and you bite it, you just had Oreos in milk. When you make this, it becomes a totally different texture. Like it is a totally different experience. It is Oreos of milk. This is like this is a way that you can indulge in the primal childlike desire to just like eat a like eat a jar of chocolate like frosting or like or or just like batter. It tastes like you're eating cake batter, but it's it's fine for you to eat because there's egg in it or flour or anything. Right. I did it anyway, and I got sick. I remember the first exactly. time I made cookies for myself. I was like, hey, I could just eat as much of this batter as I want. So I well, did. I've never, and then I I've felt never, like shit. I've never gotten sick from eating cookie dough. I mean, uh, it, was, it wasn't it was because of the, what was in it. It was because of the quantity that I ate. Oh, well, hey, yeah. You could get that way with Oreo slop. <laughs> you can get addicted to a certain type of Oreo slop. I, like, genuinely, like, there's some things, there's some things we do here. There's some jokes here. There's some things we like where people are like, oh, fuck you, Wayne. What are you doing? Uh, but I genuinely don't understand the people who are like, oh, I hate this so much. It's, it is literally milk and Oreos. Uh, how, much cookie dough, how much cookie dough did I eat? Uh, it was enough cookie dough to make like three dozen cookies, and I ate a third of the cookie dough. All so right, chat. All essentially, right. I, ate a, I ate a dozen of cook. I ate a dozen uncooked cookies. All right, chat. We're going to try... Our Oreo slop. Slop, 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 <laughs> slop, slop, slop. So, uh, let me let me just uh, go get... Oh, first, let me cleanse my palate. I had a soda. Let me cleanse my palate, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's actually what you're supposed to do is use some water to cleanse your palate. Right. It's it's like that one video of the guy talking about ice cream testing where he uses like exactly a exactly exactly. That's going crazy, right. and people are transmuting a lot of energy. Paper I have small a small amount off the top. That's the warmest part. I think I'm gonna get a nice big spoonful. Mine is uh -huh. a little chunky, but you know what? I like a lot. Of, I like texture in my food. So. It's that's like the beauty. That's the, that's the beauty of Oreo slob. You can make it however you want. I wouldn't use beauty to describe this. No, not at all. <laughs> Mm. Oh, here we go. That is a huge bite. Holy shit. Can you do something wrong? Bite. Fully loaded. <laughs> you gotta get it around all, all your taste buds. Arr, all how, do you, how, taste do you, buds. how do you it's Ozzy? Oh my god. Oh, the, don't do that. <laughs> how, how do you how do you how do you get Ozzy in chat said, bro, how big is your fucking mouth? Do you not think that the member of our crew that is, like, dinner-centric would not have a large mouth for eating food? 
This is Which, his power. One time, one time, I put an entire drumstick in my mouth and just like yanked it out, and his the bone was clean, uh, <laughs> like a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> he he has strong teeth and a large mouth. Yeah, I I can yeah. Uh, Everyone, going on your it's going on your gravestone. <laughs> Everyone in the team has superpowers. Uh, Balp and eating is just one of them. Yeah, I'm like the shaggy of the group. That's a good analogy. I have, I have uh, <laughs> my I review. Have style hair. My review. Okay. <clears throat> this is candid. No jokes, guys. Camera. No jokes. Uh-huh. This is a real review of the of well, Wayne's Oreo Slop. Dirty with it. It's just Oreos and milk. Uh-huh. <laughs> I take I take back I take back what I said. As someone who's eaten like weird looking stuff before, it's fine. That being said, would I go into the effort of making this again? Probably not. I would probably just dunk <laughs> oreos and milk and eat that no that's not the same it's not the same those are those are the same ingredients but the texture and the process that's so important it's 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 like it's like the difference between eating a chocolate bar and eating chocolate pudding if i dip an oreo if i dip an oreo and and i eat it i to me that is an oreo it is wet with the milk you get you get some of that milky flavor it's a good combo and if you Uh, chew it up in your mouth eventually it might become something like oreo slop when you make it like this, it's like you're eating a batter. Oh, why are people getting banned? I'm not. Uh, what the f- bot. Oh, spam bots. Okay. Yeah. The um. Fuck! We are oh, under. Yeah. We are under attack. The bots. The bots, <laughs> the bots don't like the slop. They can't stand the slop. Bots oh, battle. Job. Good not, job, weaker. Bots battle station. What? what? I already what? killed them all. Wait. Do you uh, want to put it in emote? Late to the party. No, it's fine. They've already left. Oh, but I do oh, want do, to. Good, they do like a 10 second burst and then they leave. Yeah. Good. Good. I don't We're... know why. I you how Got fucking up. pathetic Ooh, do you okay. have to be to rely on view bots? Well, like, the uh-huh. the texture. I'm not even gonna but feel you, you bad say, about you say that. I don't rely on view bots. I don't think anyone does that. These bots yeah, go after people that don't want them. What they're advertising is like, oh, get a bot to add views to your channel. Oh. I don't yeah. even what what does having views on your channel even do? That's it like the most insignificant the, Twitch. It puts you above the person who has zero views. Yeah, it, it's for it's for people who are desperate and like don't have it's, the requirements to get affiliate or partner. I imagine, right? Uh huh. Um. No, but I, I I'm pretty sure what it does is it's not like your active viewers. Your view count hasn't changed. It's like the number on your page that says how many times people have clicked on you. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's what they're increasing. I don't know. Either Anyways, way, like... Oreo slop. Mm-hmm. So first things first, thank you, Dr. Somnibus, for the $3.26. Thank you, Bird Friend, for the $3. No, and people saying, do not bake the slop. This originally was in a recipe for a very basic cake. This is like, the Oreo slop is just stopping after the second step. The The original The original recipe is you do what I just did there, except you add some baking powder to it. And you put it in. Uh, you can either cook it in like a pan on the on the oven, or in a cake pan in the stove, and it becomes a cake, and it's genuinely good. Or or uh, or you can you cut can, out the middleman, or you can layer it on in like a pie tin and make a nice cheesecake. If you yeah. look up, if you look up like three, like it's either three or four ingredient Oreo cake, you will find the recipe I use. There's a million YouTube Ooh, videos okay. about it. Because, like, whenever the quarantine started, that was a huge YouTube boom. You need to like, hear of the texture. Oh, low-ingredient, fun desserts. Uh, Dr. Somnibus, thank you for the $3.26. People are donating because they want my opinions on... Uh, in a, in a, a impartial, objective opinion on the slop. Like I said, taste? It just tastes like Oreos and milk. Um, exactly. It's not crazy. Um, texture-wise, I, I get it. It's a pudding. I personally like a milk covered cookie more so i don't think i'd be making yeah i like the crunch i don't think i'd be making this again not up my alley Mm -hmm. i got everyone says i got strong teeth my dentist says i have abnormally strong teeth i'm I'm like a rat yeah i need to i need to i need to chew i need to i need a i they keep growing if i don't wear them down (laughs) my 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 dentist said i have overactive salivary glands and it's why i'm so good at making the wet sounds you have overactive sal that's apparently my doctor told me i have extra long lungs hell yeah which is why i can hold a note for so fucking long get those bonus lungs let's trade hank cheesecake i like them 
Hank Don't Cheesecake with the Hank Cheesecake with the gift sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Hell but yeah. yeah, so taste tastes like Oreos and milk. Texture. I can see how if you don't want to just eat a cookie, uh, if you want a pudding, I can see how that is. This could be appealing to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. But personally, um, I, I like the crunch of a cookie. Um, preparation. Um, there's actually a good amount of leeway here. You can make it chunky and gritty. You can make it smooth by adding more, uh, more of the wet ingredients to your emulsion. Because that's basically what this is. This is an emulsion. Uh, that you're just eating and uh that's such know. an unpleasant word emulsion um, yeah emulsion is okay, not it's... a pleasant word uh, you can enjoy it while you masticate like you're not wrong S- smell oh. good smell flavor it smells like cookies so plus there <laughs> you're asking for the smell <laughs> what's the what's the what's the hand feel well or you haven't touched you it don't, yet you, well, you don't maybe it'd be better if you ate it with your fingers <laughs> Should I do that, chat? It's no, gotta have, it's got to have good finger feel. I'm seeing more nose than yes. Yeah, <laughs> even people, even joke, like even with the as a joke, people don't want to see it. Um, okay, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I would say seven out of ten. <sighs> seven out um, of ten. It's, it's not as it. Don't let the look fool you. I'll, that being said, you eat with your eyes, but hey, I've eaten pitch black gooey things before, so. That what? doesn't surprise me. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah. Seven out of ten? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I, like, I'm not proud enough of this discovery to want more than <laughs> seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know you you know what else looks pretty fucking terrible and has a terrible sounding name, but still tastes amazing? Red bean paste. <sighs> so you 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 know what you know what the Oreo tar? Oh, that's wonderful oh, that's to see. Thank word. you for that. Ah, that's that's, ah, that's what a witch looks like. <laughs> that's what a witch looks like. <laughs> Bob just reverted to age six. As I was saying, before Bob Spell fucking murdered us all, um, the Oreo tart might be really good if you just make like a little bit of it and then mix it in with like some vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. Or you use it like, or you use it like, uh, like a filling for something else. Yeah. Would probably be good too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you could do with the, like, so so the original the original recipe I made is I use this batter with the baking powder to make a cake, and then I took the cream from the Oreos that I scraped off and mixed it with a little bit of melted chocolate to make like a, to make like a, like a ganache or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I spread that on top of the cake and I put it in the fridge and it was very, very good. Um, Okay. No. Okay. Follow me on this one. Okay. You make the slop, you mix in some chocolate syrup. You get a high quality one, not like some shit one. Right. And then you mix that in with the, with the, Vanilla ice cream. I'm the yeah, Blair Witch. <laughs> it's the Blair Witch. <laughs> the numbers are dropping. <laughs> well, they're going up. No, they're I know. going up. I know. <laughs> oh, the people love this. All right, the people are here for the Blair Witch game release. <laughs> yeah, why isn't the Blair Witch like that? <laughs> why isn't the Blair Witch just slow? wait? You be. I didn't know Ubisoft did a did a thing. They uh, a they did. Uh, all right, well, it, was, it was also right in the midst of like all the allegations of abuse yeah. in like literally every single oh, aspect yeah. of the company, yeah, and yeah. they were like, "Um, well, sorry, we we didn't have time or anything to make a statement." Like, it's so hard for them to get on like a fucking Zoom call and record a two minute video. <laughs> I'm dead. God. Anyways, I, I, I got a dip for now and like shower and stuff and get ready for dinner. So okay, I'm okay. fine with the rest of it. Sure. Hey, hey, when when did you stream? Tell fill people in. Oh, uh, I'm doing my fucking my regular Dark Souls stream around uh, six EST tonight. Uh, okay. So if you want to tune in for that, hell yeah, check me out twitch.tv slash hollow underscore tones. Uh, hope to see you there. Unless I don't, in which case wait, I hope wait. you have a good rest of your day. Holly, me. Did you beat the Seath? Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay, you okay. did that. Where did you leave off? Uh, I went not to pass Ash Ballard. Lake Asavich and I figured out there was a dragon there. Right, you did that. Okay, I, I'll i be there for your stream. 
the hey, yeah. because I can't wait to see you do the next area. I don't know where to go next, so I might want some hints you, in that regard. Yeah, you might you might need legitimately like I honestly Dark Souls one, I'm not really sure how you navigate it without knowing mm -hmm. exactly where to go at some points. Like yeah. it is it is it is a very cool game and how it's laid out in a way that like physically everything makes sense, but like the next area I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll talk about it in two hours. Hell yeah. Well, Bye. I'm off for now. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I'll be on Holly's stream. Miro might be on Holly's stream. All right. Uh, I'm going to go clean up after that mess, So, but it'll be real quick, and then it's Ubisoft time, okay? Enjoy the okay. tunes. I'll be back in a minute. And thank you, uh, thank you, Versica, for the $3. Wow. Thank you, Tommy uh, Versetti, for being in uh, GTA Friend. Vice City. Yeah, my favorite one. <laughs> Thank you, Kratos, for being in God of War. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling grateful to, today, guys. Thank, Thank you, Kratos. Thank you, Master Chief from All Halo. Thank you. Thank you, Hey Hachi. He's in Tekken. We love him. Thanks to Luigi, of course. What other foods have you experimented with? I don't have a whole lot of, like... I, uh, the Oreo slob, that's my one. I, I don't... I, I can't think of any other weird food things I do. You other want than, my... like... Other than how I eat, like, leafy greens like a caveman. That's, well, that's just, just, like... That thing. That's just my nutrition, like, tips. Is, hey, you, you didn't, eat, didn't eat healthy today? Just eat a fuck ton of kale or spinach. Raw, with nothing you guys, on it. Just you eat guys... it. We want to learn how to make my my ramen heart stopper. My fucking sodium nightmare. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. You take a package of like marchan ramen. All right. Mm -hmm. You you boil it. You leave the you leave the flavor pack to the side. You boil I'm the back. ramen. Three minutes on the stove, and then you put it into a strainer. You get rid of the water. Put it back in the pot. Oh, yeah, this shit's in, nasty. It's delicious. Fuck you. You dump in the flavor packet. You get about, like, a tablespoon of, like, margarine or butter, whichever you prefer. Mix it up, and you're good to go. That's so gross, man. It's so fucking delicious. That's my that's my food that I eat when I'm, like, depressed. Hey, all right. It's so fucking good. The real ramen trick, the real ramen trick is just drop a drop a egg in there and poach it while you while it cooks. Well, actually, no, you you do that after you take it off the heat. You could the, put an egg in if you wanted. I, that would probably I mean, be good. That well, putting an egg in like Maruchan like packaged ramen makes it feel more like real food. So it's yeah, it's extra salty. But oh, you know, you, you can also throw in some crushed pepper. Uh, you can throw in some vegetables uh, to make it uh, a little more nutritious. I mean, it's pretty good. Like, I think the the most unhealthy thing I did with ramen at one point was like I put the egg in there, and I also like I cooked up a little bit of bacon at the same time, and then threw it in Ooh, there. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, I'm I'm telling you, try it. It's good. This I want you to try it, Wayne. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Why are we halfway through? Uh, because this is all like pre-show bullshit. See. Oh, yeah, it's, I see. It's track mania and then like pre-show announcements, which is like, I don't think I care. No one cares, yeah. yeah. Oh, they got it all marked off, that's nice. Hi everyone, I'm Neelan Kumar and I'm very excited to be co-hosting the first Ubisoft Forward with the talented Yusuf Magid. Today's show all right, we can turn off the subtitles because these are uh, auto-generated. Oh, really? Sad. Yeah. I called that guy Yusuf no of Sagi. So let's head straight for the streets of futuristic London. And see what the hackers of DeadSec are getting into. I heard see what that the hackers of DeadSec are getting into. <laughs> yeah, let's see what the hackers of DeadSec. Okay, so the problem with this, I could make a better news overlay than that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could too. I... What the that hell is this? Stupid as fuck. The fuck is okay, happening? okay. The problem that Watch Dogs has always had is is tone. And this seems like it has the same exact problem. Like, what is the tone? Right? Like, what is the tone? 
I don't know. Because the thing is, like, let, let, you know, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Because here's the, here's the thing, right? Like, we have real protests right now. You know what I mean? Like, there are real protests all around the world right now against, like, police brutality and stuff like that. What, like, what are you, what, what are you doing? I don't, it, I don't know. It's just weird. They just want to make a game, a cool game where you can be cyberpunk and do a hack and and fight the power. We're getting to the point where real life is 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 cooler than Watch Dogs. Because I am not a street artist. Is this Banksy? I think this might be Banky. Yeah, are you? Are they actually like have? Is, is the main character of Watch Dogs, the new one, actually going to be like cyberpunk Banksy? You mean Banky? Cool. Drop the S. Don't tell lies. No, he actually did. He dropped the did S. Really? No. All right, let's see. <laughs> They don't call me a purveyor of misinformation for nothing, but I only do it when it's funny. And you're really good at lying to people. <laughs> but only when it's funny. But only when... <laughs> oh! That guy, that guy looks scared. I wonder why. And I realized that eventually they'd come for me. And there would be no one left to speak for me. Dude has huge eyeballs. There are a lot of work went into this trailer and the style for this trailer, but it's like... It's very messy. I mean, that's fine. I it The issue for me is still like, what is the tone? Is this a fun game? Is this a serious game? Like, I'm pretty... That's the thing is like, this trailer seems to put it in the direction like, oh, it's going to be super fun, but then the game might not... It's probably not going to be like yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's... It's like way too all over the place. The hole in the pocket. This is where all the epic hackers go after their long day of hacking. Yeah, you could tell I was because they all... it is, yeah. <laughs> you could tell because they all have masks and it's all fisheye lenses. Welcome to the resistance. Here's a welcome gift for our new members. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, check it out. It's our cool resistance hangout. But like, don't worry. That's not pig saw. <laughs> I know you're scared. A 43 year old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. <laughs> is that who you play as this guy? The taxi man? Who knows? The, you play the... as your own. You, it's like random. You don't play as like a specific character. Yeah. From what uh, I remember. Yeah. The thing, the thing is like. This game was probably in development like five, like this game probably went into development like five or six years ago. We have real protests now, like in every major US city. Yeah, that's the problem was just like reality merged with the idea they had. And like there, it makes it seem tone deaf now. Like there are, there are protests in London. So it's like, what? It's, it's just, uh, it was just an unfortunate like the film Watch Dogs Legion consequence tells the yeah or heroes, not consequence fucking in order to come together coincidence hey that's a good point there were real protests six years ago too so this game was never aged well ever beginning or now oh yeah there was so, got 6g 6g they got Hell 6g yeah. in this they game they got no, gift shirts oh i do wish we had gift shirts yeah i want gift shirts I want a gift. I want a. I want a shirt with a gif of Neelix dancing on it. <laughs> See, told you. Oh, you can play as a grandma. Yeah. See, that was one of the interesting things they did with this. Was you can just you pick like a character off the street and then you're that character. Thank you, Unzerarik. I hope I said that right for your sub. I, I think a game that doesn't have this game's tone and content should steal that idea because i love the idea of just 
Oh, who's this fucker? I'm that fucker now. I don't think it's I don't think it's impossible for this game to be entertaining, but they really have to find like the right line to be on in terms of tone or else it's going to be really bad. Like Yeah, if they, especially if they, now. If they take it if they take it too lightly and they just like play it all down and it's all just like a joke, like that fucking sucks because this shit is real. And if they take it too seriously, like that is also bad. It's it's like, where do you where do you do it? Where do you where do you put it? I think they like, made. I guess, I, I guess the the right choices don't make the game, but it's too late. Yeah, yeah the right choices don't pick this as a topic. <laughs> I think. Uh, I want GTA 6 to be like you're not a specific character, you're just someone off the street, and you can just change who the character is at will. That would be fucking awesome. See. Yeah, already the tone is like, okay, look, this evil, bad POC company, or the bad guys, it's like... But, like, what... That's what I want to know with the story. What are the people resist resisting against? Because are they just... Are they just, are they just, like... Are the bad guys just this one company? The cops won't let them have 6G. Yeah, the cops won't let them have 6G. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything... Oh, the dark web. They're using the dark, the dark web. web. Human organ. Anybody who uses the dark web in any kind of story doesn't know what the fuck the dark web is. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. They go, ooh, evil internet, and then just use it. So your bad guys are a, 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 pillow, a paramilitary company guy and, like, a bad, evil, evil rich lady. I.e. neither of them are the government. <laughs> can be recruited into your team. Like him. Her. Or even her. <laughs> See, I like the idea of playing as an old person. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. In our first mission, we need to get this game has some good ideas. It's just an unfortunate means package to be wrapped around. Inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. Oh, construction worker. Oh, he's peeing. He's peeing, he that's peeing. funny. No, he was installing hacks into his pants. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, look, look, there they are. a particular set of tools that make him... Get it? Because he has a, a handyman's wrench. What the fuck? It, you can just be the green goblin? Yeah! Nail guns don't work like that. Yeah, yeah you pretty sure they need to be plugged in. Nail guns don't work like that, but whatever. Hey, bro, this is like 2040. Yeah, this is the yeah. cyber nail gun. I'll give him the pass. Oh, he has time powers. A remix. He wanted to pee again. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. What did she just do? She just like squished some parts out of a drone by <laughs> yeah. stomping on it. It's like an animal. An adorable creepy crawler. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is far summon. Fast, stealthy. She aimed, she fired, she hit. Uh, I don't like that dialogue. No. Not if it's gonna play that every other time I take down an enemy with a drone. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. If you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one. Everyone no. has rewind powers? That's lame. People are saying no one sounds British, and I, I bet you they hired just a bunch of like. It's not British. I, I, I bet you they. Got... Welcome to Watch Dogs 3! That was I... the worst British accent I've heard yet. That was yet. the point. Yeah. People are saying it's not authentic, and I can hear it. I'm, get, I'm guessing they got all their voice actors in uh, Canada. And not in, uh, not England. Take down the enemy. You Utilize drone hacking. <laughs> Wait, that guy just killed. 
What is the tone of this game? Oh my god. This, what is the tone of this game? Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing. It's all over the fucking place. That's yeah. what it is. Because Watch Dogs 1 had that problem in tone. Watch Dogs 1 was, like, mostly serious. There were, like, what some goofy bits. This? Yeah, I don't. Like, that other scene was, like, taken fully serious. Then the next scene, it's like, oh, look at this guy on, like, a golden throne with AK 47s. Like, that was. That's not that real. No one would ever do that. No one's that gaudy. Hello, I'm. Hello, I'm. I'm. Joey, the perfect fit for the resistance. He does have a slight drinking problem, though. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well, we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. <gasps> they really. Oh, this is the shit that I saw. And it's almost this crass looks... to call him a hitman. Ugh. What? Look at this gameplay. Oh, it's John. It's it's John Wick. It's Joey Wick. Some might even call him an artist. Oh. Uh, this uh, looks like I could just do this in Saints Row Three. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't like <laughs> impress me in any way. I I think I think it's like anything cool. He just has they just have pre-scripted takedowns. Yeah, it was like GTA Five. Yeah. I think I think Ubisoft were like, yeah. What if we had a John Wick subclass in our game? What if John Wick was just a subclass? But it's like, you know, John Wick. The John Wick movies are impressive because it's real actors and not just a bunch of 3D models. If you wanted to do the John Wick subclass, so though, you could have done that so much better. It would like that sequence was just a dude walking down a hallway and shooting at some guys. Yeah. There's more to John Wick than that. Yeah. It's time to take back London. From who? Who are you taking London back from? That's they that's can, the tone of this game. It. Like, like, like. Plunging the now. living, breathing city, from teeming with Bangie. unique locales and characters. Take it back from Frank. Frank Banky has taken over series. London. So what goes into building those worlds? Take Here's it back from the evil people. Yeah, the evil people. We're resisting against the evil people. My name Bikes is Amanda Munts. Upstairs. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to to kind of like pick and choose Look, what she has a little granny smith details apple. we want to depict. Or a stress and ball. We get ample opportunities to tell Even when it's just as tasty. The spaces that we're assigned you to. can eat both. Yeah. I have the capacity to hide things. That's and an apple. The, uh, the... In hey, OC so, Unity, so, uh, chat. Because his name is Psycho Cats. Killer 1983. Hey, chat, then, I, uh, I skipped the pre-show stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not gonna watch the countdown. I skipped the pre-show stuff. I jumped straight into their presentation. Do they bring up the allegations at all? No, we, we already went over this. They don't. Showing our demo wow. were from London. So no matter where I dropped them in the city, they'd go, oh my god, this feels like Camden. This, you know, this feels like Southern. I'm not, like, defending them, but... When people is, that was, really, is that what you do at a presentation, like a press conference? I think, when I think the, so good the, most companies it, would just you know, not do that. It, I love it. Great. Okay, you're right in that this was probably filmed and recorded like months ahead of time, but they're bad, dude. It, it like like we're not talking about like a few key so individuals. Like apparently, entire departments have, have been gutted at Ubisoft or something like that. On iOS and Android devices. Like it's big it's bad enough that I'm like, they should probably address this. Or something. Well, they cut Three, him out. So two, I mean one, had them saying sorry would just be hollow. Yeah. The fact that the people are gone is good enough for me. Is this an ad for the game that's already out? I they don't like care. This game must make a lot of money for Ubisoft because it like it like they keep bringing it up, and it keeps getting DLC. 
I mean, I, I don't really don't like the way it looks. I it mean, looks really ugly. I mean, they always have, have crossover characters. They have they, like Rayman and like Finn from Adventure Time. Oh yeah, they have like crossovers with like everybody. I don't know. Is it like a competent platform fighter? I've never played. I dislike. You know what I really dislike? Any art style where like every character is given a very similar body shape. Like every character in that game had a big head and like a V-shaped torso and small and arms. Yeah. Limb. That shit looks bad. Yeah, I hate that shit. That's it's it's like it's the reason why Funko Pops suck. Yes, yeah, the same. It's the same thing as Funko Pops. Yeah, Slap City. Slap City kicks ass. Slap New City's Grounds. New Grounds looking ass game. What is this? This shit? is uh, play. This is play now, my lord. <laughs> is this fucking? Yeah, it's this might and magic. Might and magic. This is a Thanks, ben yeah. Cannon. This is this is a play now, my lord ass game. Oh my god. Oh, this that is looked a, like shit. The game didn't even look, the game didn't they're, look anything like those. They're trying to hide it. Look what they were doing. They were trying to hide it. They're I mean, that's to... literally any, any time you saw an ad on like some flash game site that said like, play now, my lord, you deserve an orgy or whatever. Like the game would just look like that. It would just be like shitty little 2D sprites doing one animation over and over till they die. Well, you married the good big booby princess or the evil big booby princess? <laughs> Disclaimer, you cannot do that in this game, but <laughs> more people ask game. Oh, uh, it's more Watch Dogs. <laughs> oh, is this that, uh... This is a hero shooter. Is this their Overwatch game? They're yep. making, like, an Overwatch You can game, tell just by the way it looks. It sucks how predictable big-budget video games is. It, it, yeah. Oh, wait, no, is this... This is, like, Siege. No, but Siege isn't this cartoony. I know, but this is, like, a new Siege, I think. Because this I... is a map in Siege, and these characters look like they're from Siege. Right. They're making but... like, what if what if Siege looked like Fortnite? Uh, it doesn't have to. I know Contact. Fortnite's Contact. popular, but you don't need to make everything Target Fortnite. Roger. Inbound. Danger close. I need an EMP deployed now. EMP imminent. Oh, uh, not an EMP now. Sam Fisher, not like this. In your cell. That was bad voice acting. Get back in your cell! Now! He's got a skull in the back of his face. He's always watching you. Yeah. Don't make me regret this. Why won't they just make it What is this game? Again? What is this no. game? Um, Squad? Who cares? Yeah, it's a Tom Clancy game. Is this App a Store. It's an iOS game. Who gives a uh. shit? Oh, what? It's a mobile game only? It's a mobile game. Five years since Rainbow Six Siege first launched, and the community Tom Clancy. Wait, yeah, pre-register for a gun? For like a, a gun in the game? Mm -hmm. I guess Call of Duty has been doing that for a while, huh? The only good game Ubisoft's put out in the last like decade was that December one Rabbids Nintendo crossover. Rainbow Six Siege. And I guess Rainbow Six Siege is fun. Yeah, people the like Rainbow Six Siege. Siege is awesome. I like. Creativity, it's very, very hard. Is the only thing. Team play. Yeah, it's a legit it's game. Well, I just wish fun. Ubisoft kind of want to take another awesome. crack at it. I've, I've heard really good things about it, but the problem is I'm just not like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'll be blunt. Knowing the way that like Ubisoft operates, I don't know how I feel about them being in control of like an esports game, you know? Yeah. I will say the one really good thing Siege has going for it is just like, if someone uses the N word, they get banned, and everyone in the game is in, is alerted to it. That's funny. That is really funny. You like if someone gets banned, it's like it'll say like, "Oh, Davy uh, Boy One One Two has been permanently banned on everyone's screen." Oh, like not just in the match, like worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. No, like any any you will see it like no matter what you're doing. I think the I'm not sure if you. Huh. I'm not sure if you see it when you're like in a match, but you definitely see it on the main menu. That that's good. You get put on full blast. Yeah, funny funny kid. Funny funny kid said for a while there was like people were legitimately trying to win games by getting people to say the n word backwards. Oh like, right, I remember that. What it is. I remember that. Oh, 
I forgot. Yeah, I forgot about that where the strat to win was make somebody accidentally say a slur. Tous les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de autant de nous que de vous. So, yeah. Oh, you changed the language. Can you change it back to English? Now 60 million players strong. I uh I you know, I I'm not a hater. If it, I'm sure this game is great. You should get past this. Honestly. What? You should yeah. just skip past this. Like everyone knows what TJ is. Look, go for the games. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, what is Hybrid's Hybrid? game? Oh yeah, that's their fucking battle royale. Oh, we oh gotta watch God, this. We don't need another battle royale. We gotta see this, guys. This um, so I've seen. There's some neat stuff in this game. Royales. There's some neat stuff in this game, but uh, it's rough. So how? All right, let's. Let's give it a shot, guys. Let's see how distinct this is compared to the other ones. Uh, everything looks the same these days. That's not supposed to be there. That's not supposed to be there. About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future started to come true. We made some good decisions. We made some bad oh, You're being... <laughs> oh, we dropped a pizza. That's real, uh, generous to think we'll be on the, on Mars by 2022. VR Cows is real. VR Cows is real. They put on a VR headset to make them think they're in a nice, beautiful field. Isn't this just Ready Player One? Yeah. It is actually. Fuck off. This is just Ready Player One, but not it as, is. but not as cool because I can't play, I can't be Marvin the Martian while doing this. I can't be Marvin the Martian shooting at Master Chief. Dude, dude. There's like I, a few things I like about this game. I like how when people die, they turn into like cool little triangles. I like the effect. <laughs> The, the there's a there's a gameplay mechanic where like if you have a gun and then you pick up the same gun you could just like keep leveling up your gun which is like neat but I don't know if I want to play battle royale I'm just gonna play Warzone they pretty much perfect yeah it. and even then I'm like tired of Warzone I've told I've told the story so many times but I watched like the first half or two thirds of Ready Player One and the funniest thing in the movie is when they first go into into the VR world and the main character turns into like this shitty looking elf and then someone right next to them immediately morphs into marvin the martian it's like dude like that's i would play this game if it was battle royale where you could upload your own model yeah. wowski and chat just said i can't be dr fester fuck this <laughs> dr fester in the hyperscape, in the hyperscape, anyone can be who they want, and I, I want to play Battle Royale as a bottle of ranch. It's the reason why, like, Tower Unite is good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Tower Unite is fucking great. I'd rather, I'd, I would rather have a Battle Royale in Tower Unite. Although I hope they don't do that, because it's more fun. They, yeah. What, they wouldn't do that, one, because you could just have an invisible player model, and two, that Also, they cares. couldn't handle that. Like, yeah. the, uh, the Tower Unite Battle Royale would be a fucking disaster. It, it just wouldn't work. Converges. Uh... All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip. Well, I well I defended this game a little bit. I really don't care. It's like yeah, we can move on. Yeah, I I need to uh, if I'm if I'm in a virtual world, I wanna I wanna play battle royale as like I don't know the Undertaker or something. <laughs> Give me some, you know I don't want to just be myself. That's lame. If the world's gone to shit, Spencer from Xbox. It's him again. Hey, get back in your other panel. Is supporting smart delivery so you will get the uh, we know what this is already version of the game uh, we found that you know there were not mindless barbarians vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle and so they had really human motivations so no for shit. us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore 
is really something that drove us to, to make this game. The team went to Norway right. and England to take the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. And then leaving Norway, which is barren but majestic, and just coming by boat in England and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life, is just this moment that most likely the Vikings felt as well. You need to see this land of... Funny, funny kid, yes. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this Everyone game. did fucked up shit back if then. If you want to see some Vikings doing... the world it was. If you want to see some Vikings doing some fucked up shit, this is like a... This sounds dumb, but legitimately, watch the anime Vinland Saga. I was gonna say, I know you're gonna recommend Vinland Saga. It's very, very good. They will have to leave Norway to settle in England because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available. Yeah, I've heard good things about Vinland Saga. <laughs> All right, uh, beard or not? England, <laughs> yeah. Of yeah, that people, I. And that was based. Really so you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Is this game? Hold up. Vikings were brutal warriors. What? Where, where are the assassins? Brutal warriors. Where are the assassins in this? You gotta wait. And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times. Vikings really were brutal warriors. Kind of revamp the fight system. Is this? I, the the corner of my screen the says Assassin's Creed up the there, right up there. You gotta wait till the assassin shows up. Vikings were not only fighting face to face, they were masters of stealth and deception when needed. They used Oh, weapons, they I see. To win the battle. So we want to portray the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. There Whoa! you go. We are very happy to finally be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please enjoy into ah! Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ah! In-game footage work in progress. Wow. Please don't tell us our game is you ugly. Know, I've heard um like people really Valhalla, like the last Assassin's Creed. The yeah, one, right. the, 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 the one that was in like of he, and the one Assassin's in Egypt? Creed Odyssey. No, Odyssey. I mean, yeah. I think people like the Egypt one too, but I can't keep track. There's too many. People like the people people like people like Assassin's Creed, but like I don't. You know why I won't play these games? Because they're too long. Yeah, they're like they? sixty hours. Like they're cool. They have some neat stuff in them, but like I don't want to do this for sixty hours. I don't want to pay full price to do it for England ten hours and stop. Age, tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties, a land of opportunity and riches. I'm sorry, dynasty. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your. I I don't know. It's like at this point, it's like just just like just change the name. Just change the name because I know what you're trying to do, but just change the name. Because you guys are just trying to make cool historical action games now. Yeah, does it have yeah, anything the, to do the, with the, the like whole, animus the or whatever that was? No, that's all gone. Like that that whole plot point with that with that dude with the buzz cut, that's done. The like I don't I don't think they've done that in like six years. All I know about Assassin's Creed is the first one. I thought there's no more animus. There uh I don't even think the Assassins and Templar plot point is Yeah I to useful services. Like what what is this game about? Like I thought this game was about like I thought I thought this game was about like like everyone fighting for like a golden apple or some shit. They're saying they do have the animus. Okay, where's the golden apple, guys? Also, thank you, Molo Swaggins, for the tier one sub. But yeah, I... offers a unique challenge. This combat looks kind of fun. Like, However, anytime, anytime I see melee combat, like, 
like era focused melee combat like vikings or like romans or like ghosts of tsushima anything like that i just want to go play sekiro yeah that's the thing sekiro kind of like perfected melee combat with a viking harpoon pummel them with throwing axes incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance or finish them off the stun system all right cool 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 Not okay here we go stealth all right here we go land, a viking must find a way to okay this is why it's still assassin's creed because you can go next to people and blend in with them to outsmart your enemies avoiding unwanted attention in towns i'm gonna play sekiro again in like Probably later this year, Use once I get through Dark Souls 2 and 3, CJ is going to play it. Slip past watchful eyes. An unseen hunter among the people. Oh! From capital cities and villages. Oh, I thought they were going to, like, and rolling take, do a takedown on that guy. Is CJ's in all the games. Sharp. Yeah, and CJ's in all the games, guys. Hope to endure. He's the main character. Hunt and forage to replenish your health and fortify your equipment. Wolf. Wolf of the pit. They had to Damn, that's crazy. They had to assassinate that wolf. <laughs> that they wolf had to. They that, had to to write the course of history. That that wolf was a Templar. Wealth collected and it's a wooden bow. Today we fight for your land and tomorrow Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse Some of those environments look pretty cool. Yeah. Roots. It will challenge like that snowy mountaintop with unforgettable characters. Thrilling triumphs. What was that boss casting magic everywhere though? What was that? That was historically <laughs> accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Why? What is this Mortal Kombat stuff? What the hell was that? All right. Well. Today, but before we go, our CEO Eve Gimo is here to share a few words. What is this? I hope you will have enjoyed what you have seen today, and that you will love playing these games. I am proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious broad and creative lineup of games and we haven't shown you everything yet in fact we have a lot more to come it's not so over yet you enjoyed it so far to reveal even more about it's not over yet how you like it so far but before ending this show we have one more thing to share with you <gasps> shrek <laughs> yeah that's a shrek it's eye shrek. It's the Shrek Dragon. Oh, this is Far Cry 6. Yeah, okay. I don't know anything about this game, but the fact that Gus Fring is in it. <laughs> You're not even going to call the actor by their name. You're just going to call them <laughs> Gus Fring. <laughs> That's all I know him uh, as. So I'm Carlo Esposito. It's Gus Fring game. Is it? Oh, it is. It'd be so much better if they just somehow got the the ability to tie this into the Breaking Bad universe. Yeah, just yeah, Far Cry Six is a is a fucking it's it's a it's a fucking Vince Gilligan game. That'd be dope. I'd play the shit out of that. Dude, it, it probably costs so much to hire Vince Gilligan to write something nowadays. Oh yeah. Breaking Bad put him on the map. Genuinely, the fact that they have Giancarlo Esposito in this game. This might be the first Far Cry I play. Really? That yeah, it, it, it works. They're gonna. I wanna. I wanna see his. Per, I wanna see his performance. I mean, this is this is like a movie trailer yeah. so far. Vaporwave Mom says uh, Far Cry is so tired now. It's a good thing I haven't played any of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's Me how you neither. do it. Just don't. Just don't play the games that are oversaturated. Yeah, exactly. Dude, <laughs> dude, I, a long time ago, I got, like, Far Cry 4 from, like, buying a graphics card. I, I didn't even, 
It, I, I was like, I'm not gonna play this. <laughs> Screw. I own every Far Cry, and I've only put in like maybe four hours into Far Cry Five, and that's it. No shit, it's created by Ubisoft. No Criminal World. They they use his voice. I'm pretty sure. It's beautiful, Nero. That's definitely his voice. Yeah. But useless. I have something for you, Nero. Give me your hands. God, I'm just gonna be. If I do play this game, I'm gonna be cracking jokes about Gus Fring the whole time. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes Oh shit, guys. <laughs> I am El Presidente. Which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves. They will hate you, dear. Go. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. Are you screams? Call you evil, a monster, and give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Facial capture is crazy. That just looked like he was in the game. Yeah. Country is like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. You guys, it's not tone deaf. This is what every Far Cry has been. Yeah, this is basically in in line with Far Cry. Far Cry does stuff like this, except now they have the money to hire big Hollywood actors. Hey. The guy who played the bad guy in Far Cry 3, he w he's in, uh, he plays Nacho, right? Is that him? Is I that Nacho so. Vargo? Yeah! Varga. What'd I say? Vargo. Oh, my bad. Excuse yeah, me I for don't like, forgetting I don't really the like, most popular character. I don't really, I don't really like you anymore. <laughs> you fucked up, Gert. Is that Nacho, though? I think so, yeah. In Far Cry 3? Yeah. He was boss? Yeah, I think so. He was boss. Now that I think about it, he totally was. Yeah. And with that, we're wrapping up our first So it comes full. it comes full circle. <laughs> it comes Fox fighters. Today we comes you have to hold the grenade for the whole game or you lose. <laughs> See, Holy that would shit. be a cool game. Right. Do you throw the grenade at the protesters or do you throw the grenade at the at your dad? All right, this is the rest of this is like post show stuff. We don't care. That's fucking me up. It is Nacho. We don't care. Uh, all right, Nacho guys, good. we have one presentation left. Oh, we do. Yeah, we have a. Uh, Who else fucking did something? We have uh, EA. Oh, EA. So we're gonna when skip. Theirs? We are going to skim through it because it's not 
it's, I'll yeah. be honest, it's it's not likely that I'm gonna be enjoying the stuff in EA's presentation too much. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take this time now to do my little spiel. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you so so much. I know how important so, so much. your time is. Your time is very important. So the fact that you have decided to spend your time here with me today, with me and my friends, uh, thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, so many people, so many angels have gotten their chicken wings today. Uh, nice. <laughs> it's Bob's angels, like Charlie's angels. <laughs> but not horny. <laughs> yeah, but not horny. Uh, uh, like I like I've said before, um, we uh, this stream benefits greatly from word of mouth. So, uh, if you are enjoying what you're seeing here today, if you enjoyed seeing me uh, eat the slop and and watching these uh, game presentations, go ahead and uh, recommend my channel to someone who you might think it will would also enjoy, and. Uh, if you want to take it a step further, you can support me financially, either through Twitch. You can sub, gift bits, gift subs. Like I said, so many angels have gotten their wings today. No one's, no, I don't, I think, you know what? Maybe people have gotten their, I think a few people may have gotten their up updated wings already. The wings do change flavors to denote months and rank, folks. Um, if you want to leave me a tip, you can scroll down and click on that golden frog. That golden frog will take you to a page where you can tip. And while you're there, you can go check out those links. The Where Do We Begin podcast that I do with Gur and Wayne, who are currently uh, on the call with me. As well as Trog, Hello. Log, sometimes Arag, and uh, maybe we'll have other guests in the future. Who knows? My a link to my Twitter and YouTube are also there. Trust me, that if you if you missed out on me trying the slop, I think that's definitely going up on my YouTube channel. So, uh, for everyone who's donated, for everyone who has subbed or contributed in any way, thank you very very much. Your generosity helps keep the helps keep the lights on and the show going. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and rate. Uh, my enjoyment, six out of six out of ten. That that wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. My rating actually went up. Ubisoft had like the Gus Fring game. <laughs> they, they did have the Gus Fring. Game. They had the Gus Fring game. They had the Gus Fring game. All right. So I go. I don't have I don't have high hopes for the EA one because nobody said anything. I haven't seen anyone say anything about like. HD remaster of Mass Effect, no Spore 2. I mean, I, I don't have high hopes. Uh, Zodaku, uh, the fruit scrolling thing is just a MP4 um, that I... It's like a it's like a video loop that I made um, myself. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, it, the, it's, all photo it's all a mix of photography by me. And then also, like, basically, like, a skybox that I made in Unity with a scrolling texture on it. And I just plopped the camera in that. And I, like, took shots of different angles. And I put, like, photography over it. That's how I did it. Oh, wait. This was where they announced uh, the new skate game. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get the show on the road. We're coming Spoiler, at you. by the way. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> It's from June. I am gonna step away from the stream, but I had fun. I'm glad you enjoyed your slop. I'm glad you enjoyed your games. I'm glad you all had fun here in the chat. Uh, I hope Hello you and welcome everyone have a good Play time. I might see you on Holly streams later. Bye bye, everybody. Over the everyone say bye to Wayne. So we've got so much for you, including creative, innovative, and really fun new games, and a lot there of news to share. But before we get into the show, I'd like to take just a minute here. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to first responders, medical see staff, reading the script. and essential personnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a challenging year. I'm okay with that. From natural disasters it's just like funny. The <laughs> yeah. country, to the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, 
these brave heroes are working to keep us safe and healthy at every turn. I also want to thank our teams for their amazing dedication while working from home. What you've Look at a surfboard is that nothing short is of inspirational. purely decorative and doesn't get any use. Reminds you that he's Australian. <laughs> yeah. Even when we've had to stay physically apart, billions of you are using games to come together to play and do amazing things for each other. Oh yeah, G4 and X Play are back, this guys. Is truly the greatest form of entertainment. Are they? On the yeah, they announced it on Twitter today. This what? is also a critical time for the movement to end racism and racial injustice in this Did world. Did the world Black need G4 matter, to come back? Much to be done to drive real Someone wants to try. Change. I mean, I grew up, I, I, I watched G4 ago, as a kid. I don't mind. Hey, taken. give it a shot. We will not rest on this. It's a long-term commitment. I feel like We're YouTube has supplanted the color, need for a TV channel. Religion and I don't think it's a TV channel. It might be like we'll a web show. Build strong if it's a web show, that's games, another story. And we are focused on making our communities fun, inclusive, and positive places to play. It just says we some also have form. real work to do to bring greater diversity yeah. into I'm guessing world. it's this and who does who would do, do regular T V anymore? Why? Nobody Today, nobody with us because any sense in their games. head. Exactly. Games bring us together. They can make our lives better. They can teach us. They can provide escape and self expression. And most of all, games can be fun. Guys, not gonna all lie. Electronic arts believe in that. And it's why we're excited to get up every morning to make great experiences for all of you. So thanks for That's being why here we with make us. our employees work now, 80 hours a day. Games. 80 hours a week. What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and welcome to EA Play. We had an incredible show in LA planned for you. Huge stage, massive set of giant monitors. I was, was going to fly in on an X-Wing. I was going to land the X-Wing on stage. I was going to set off a bunch of fireworks. Then what? T-shirt cannon, bam, shooting out game consoles. Then Carol Baskin, some tigers. Hey, I had to come back because I just realized you're using the me. Mountain Dew font then, for your enjoyment. Then, because of circumstances beyond ratings. our control, we had to come up with something <laughs> Wait. a little different. Instead was that LA, is that not a good thing? San Francisco, but no, I, just, the tigers. I thought it was funny. It's just funny. What's that, Jay? Right. No tigers. So you lied. Oh, okay. All right. I'm being told there are no tigers, but whatever. We're still going to bring you the EA Play you know and love. Huge surprises, big announcements, incredible reveals, and never before seen gameplay. Oh, congrats, EA. Yeah. You managed to hour, be embarrassing without E3 galore, ever happening. World premiere trailers of new titles, some old favorites making a comeback, a look at a new way Star Wars fans can live out their greatest fantasies this year, plus a sneak peek at the future. Oh, and pay close attention because today you could win one of thousands of Steam codes for more than a dozen great. This is not live. Steam. Throughout the show, keep an eye out. So no codes for us. Golden letters. Mm -hmm. This happened a month ago. Write them down yeah. as they appear, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you where you can enter that secret code for a chance to win free games on Steam. So don't go anywhere. Who am I kidding? None of us can leave our houses. Uh, but enough talking. Let's see some games. Up first, we're headed to the Outlands. That's right. It's Apex Legends uh. time. All right. Oh my God. I think people care about Apex Legends. Though. I could not care less. I mean, people, people, people like play Warzone now, but I think there's hey, still Apex people that care about Apex just Legends. Getting bigger, thanks to you, Apex Legends is coming off its most successful, most epic season yet, and we're just getting most started. Most epic. Season yeah. 2020, yeah. people still say an epic, before. like it's a fucking that amazing word going people actually use. Season five, the I'm biggest, seeing some people, uh, I'm seeing some season people ever. who are, who, who people in chat who are saying they're still playing Apex Legends. I mean, I'm sure the game is fun. Five, Fortune's Favor, which has seen the introduction of our latest legend, Loba. A Loba? Just, I Kingdom. just like, I just Rest don't. Rest in peace, Town. An all new rank so series tired and a ton of, of games quality of like life this. updates. But it's about to get even better. Today, I'm here to tell you about what's coming next to season five with our latest collection event, Lost Treasures. Take a look. Character, all right, so. So, so character name of Loba. That's what we know. Character name of Loba. Adventurers. Raiders. That's it. Yeah. Explorers. They risk everything in such a fame, a fortune, and answers. Few find what they're looking for. 
But if they survive, they might walk away with lost treasures. Nice mustache. I'll high five you all when I see you. Mobile respawn beacon here. My silences are firing again. <laughs> Check yourself. This is a I'll source engine yourself. game. Thanks. Really? I, yeah. I, I forgot about that fact. <laughs> guns? Who needs guns? I don't need guns. I know what I'm looking for. I won't walk away without it. Don't touch it, Goya. Because this is the same company that made Titanfall, and Titanfall was also Source Engine. That's true, that's right, that's massively, right. Massively, massively modified, but at the core, that's what it is. Alright guys. Alright guys, you ready to play as a uh, Loba? And whoever that is? As you just saw, the Lost Treasures This is in the Titanfall universe? Time that's content, weird. Including it is. Limited time mode, armed and dangerous. Evolve. It seems like two different tones, but It's the return of a sure. fan favorite, snipers and shotties only, but with a twist. Sending out my decoy. All armor is evil armor, and we're removing all of the respawn beacons across the entire map. Wait, all armor is evil armor? What does that mean, guys? To bring back your I don't know. With the help of a new what is item, evil armor? A respawn beacon. What is that? Someone explain that mechanic to me. You'll have one of these in your inventory at the start of each match. I don't know what. The power to what? choose when. This and is Logmore calling in from work. You bring your Where are you watching now? Uh, we're watching EA's presentation. This is the last one for today. A new town takeover. Crypto's map. Let me do this. I uh, like June. Players a closer look. Oh. This was when. This do you remember when people Ted said there was a new skate? Oh yeah, I guess that was from yeah, this. I, I didn't know that this happened. You can earn by completing challenges. Everyone, well, everyone, say hi to Law. Go read his uh, Shonen Jump contest entry, Hunt Hunter's Iliad. Which is fittingly a trophy of himself. Excited to see you all. Yeah, do that. There's plenty of memes. You know, I'm not sure if I'm still working or not. And the best part is you don't have to wait that long. Lost treasures drops on Tuesday. Yeah, working for. I mean, it is Friday, and working from home kind of has that effect on you. Well, That's right. uh, the this thing is, like, Apex we just had a little, like, team and I know you're hoping, with the manager and praying. stuff. So before you Managers ask, pretty much, yeah. Cross -play is they, they like, implied system. that it's been one of the, biggest requests the we work get, day was over now, finally uh, but they didn't say it outright, you know? What am I forgetting? Uh, uh, one last thing. Would Let's you really have to have that much more to do today if you were still working? We're huge fans of Nintendo no. here at Resident Evil. No, then you could just probably just wrap it up. Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds right. Oh, I'm Apex sure Legends on the ahead. Switch. Okay. So that means you'll be able to squad up no matter where you and your friends prefer. Oh, and there's crossplay. That's PlayStation, Switch. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Or on the PC via Origin and Steam. We're throwing out a lifeline and healing the divide. When's Bamco going to do some crossplay? Huh? Oh my Apex God! Team, please, please. Like fighting games. Game fighting games are not big enough that you we have to, that you, you that you like. And don't forget, fighting games aren't that big. You can't afford to split up the population anymore. Oh, like. Man, that was amazing. <laughs> I think I'm hyper, hyper bubbling. I think I'm hyper man. Uh. I had a really good time here. No, I'm I'm just gonna sniff that in the bud. And diversity in games is critically important. Perhaps now more. I'm just gonna sniff that in the bud. It's guys. difficult to put into words just how meaningful it That's can be to see sexy. yourself reflected in the games you play. The Sims. So, here to tell you in their own words are a few members of our Sims community. <gasps> the Sims. Hey, The Sims is it's cool. A very interesting thing to explain. You, I waited for more DLC to buy. Empowering, actually, and very moving. It, the, it really taught me a lot. The importance of just like. The Sims is weird in that I like The Sims, but I haven't played the new one because the game is like, the game plus, plus the DLC is like so expensive. It's so expensive. Like every DLC pack is like 60 bucks or something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. It's like stupid. come from who i am the color of my skin you know who i'm attracted to let any of that get in the way it was it was no barriers the sims 4 is bad is it bad? it's not good it's not it's not great sims 3 they, they like watered everything down from sims 3. interesting it gave me a sense of hope that i 
could build a life that looked like that. The Sims is almost like a utopia of what. Is there any interest in uh in me? I have Sims Three. I haven't put in much time into it because I I think I don't even have it installed. I have it on Steam. Would people be interested if I made a house with me and like everyone from the crew and like I don't know, watch us get into everyone always like the good sim stream. Yeah, I should put in the effort for that. I feel like that Ooh. would be a hit. What happened? Oh, they morphed into their Sims. Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> be nice, girl. They're making their uh their own lives again in the Sims. But yeah, I I feel like that'd be there'd be interest in that in their uh the in their win it. What was the point of that? To celebrate diversity. I mean, yeah, but we want the Sims to be a place of unity. They they like did that like you could like it was new for the new Sims and you could do that since like Sims two. Everything they talked about. To our Simmers, thank you for everything. Simmers? Is that what they call their fan base? Simmers. Now, I know some of you tuned in hoping for some... Yeah, I don't know. Like, no matter what they do, any anything that comes from EA will always sound like it's so deaf. I was going to say, just, EA's it's, got a that's, history that's the of... This, image, like, that's the image yeah. that they built for themselves. Yeah. EA has a history of, like, shielding themselves with... Their, their CEO... Minorities and... Their CEO, like... Someone said, like, their CEO seems like a, a Bond villain, and I can't, like, get that out of my head then, anymore. It's not entirely inaccurate. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna reinstall Sims 3, and I think I'm gonna make a uh, a house, a hypothetical streamer house for me and the crew, and watch us. I don't know. Get hurt. Get some. Get some fun mods. I feel like people always like get in trouble and like set themselves on fire or something stupid. See, like, see all this DLC stuff. All of this costs like money. Like, it's true. If you are everything you see here doesn't come with the game when you buy it. You have to buy this else. Radio TV solutions, fan and you haven't read and promoted log Do that once Barrett has finished his stream. It's a dope comic and log more is a great artist. Shrimp Toast 2000, thank you for the ten dollars and thank you for repping also repping logs. Logs, uh, comic, Bob's Burger. I saw that. I was gonna be like, is that some fucking Bob's Burger shit in the background? Spotted, back spotted, spotted. Okay, real quick story. So, when I was, uh, when I was in college, I had several internships where I was just, you know, an intern at different companies. I was at this company that was huge. It was a huge company, like thousands of employees. And one time, I walked into this lady's office. And she had, uh, she had, like, a, a picture of her and her husband and her family done in the style of The Simpsons. And next to that was a similar portrait done in the style of Family Guy. And it's like, whoa. I That's fucking funny. I walked in to talk to this lady about, like, a work-related issue. And I, 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 I like do a double take and I like stop myself and then I looked at her and I was like, oh yeah, uh, let's let's talk about this thing. <laughs> it was so weird because I, it was really weird because I had like, it like, it like hit me. Like I had to do a double take to make sure it was real. Alright, Command and Conquer 2 Remaster. Alright. That's cool. Steam isn't the only platform getting some love. We'll be bringing games to more platforms than ever. You can expect seven new games Eta. coming to Switch I mean, in the next 12 months. I mean, her and her Apex Simpsons Apex slash Apex Family Apex Guy Apex style Apex husband Switch. looked happy, so... And we're bringing cross -play to maybe, maybe, maybe what brought them together was Simpsons Apex slash Apex Family Apex Guy. With some new titles being revealed later in the show. It's all about giving you the freedom to play what you want where you want and with who you want it's about playing together absolutely now let's reveal some more games over to you greg Quick reminder, we were losing money by leaving everything on origin so it's about us getting money from our loss i know it's quiet do you want to how 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 badly do you want to hear this guy i think i'm yep. doing the right thing we, we can wait till he's done 
yeah. while talking. I think I'm doing the right thing. Up. Here. Here, you want to hear this guy? You missed. Greg. Quick reminder to keep an eye out for those special go. golden letters hidden throughout the show. They could appear anywhere, and I mean anywhere, so keep your eyes open. Write the letters down as they appear, and once you've got the full, and I mean, to enter for a chance to win one of more than a dozen great games on Steam. So stay tuned and find out where to enter the, and I mean anywhere, well, stay tuned and find out where to enter all right, all right. the end of the show. <laughs> violating the Geneva Convention by torturing this many people. More than buffalo wings and discovering inventive new games. Well, I don't have any buffalo wings, but I do have something just as tasty. Over the past couple of years, EA has partnered with right, right. EA Originals. Tear off a game, but it can be really hard to do it on your own. Is this a game? We want to a space for our studio's creativity to flow free, so that we can try unconventional uh -oh. approaches to solving new ideas. There are times where you've got to like break past the rules of mental blocks. Even in the vision, we can really push our ideas further and bigger than we first imagined. So they're talking about how great it is to have money Let's from EA to magic. make their games. Yeah, basically. EA gives us so much money to hire more animators and level designers and QA testers. Thank you. And now for a deeper dive. Oh. Joe okay. Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy that was drunk at the Game Awards. Yes, it's him. <laughs> uh... He was so no, drunk. There. Uh, yeah, I know I'm cocky. I can't help it, man. I know I'm an alcoholic. I can't help it. I was born in Beirut, 1977. I lived there 10 years. There was civil war and there was a lot of uh, bad stuff happening there. We tried to move five times to Sweden. The fifth time they let us in. Uh, and that's lucky for Sweden, because I've given Sweden a lot, you know. <laughs> my third movie, Zozo, is basically about my life when I came to Sweden when I was young. I've done five feature movies, and now I've done three games. And it's way hard to make a game. It's almost like the audience have control of the pace Belarus. of the story. While the movie said Belarus, not Babe Ruth. Uh, There's so much they, to be explored from a people, perspective because of the interaction. People were like, oh, this guy wants to make movies. This guy literally makes movies. He isn't just a games guy. Yeah, he's not like Kojima where Kojima's never pulled the trigger on making a movie. Yeah. That's why I found it. Although I this actually guy, think he is making a movie now. No, he is. I think he's like, uh, I think he's like working with the people that are still the trying to make the Metal Gear movie. Yeah. He's like a consultant, maybe? He really needs to head that. That's like Cody, fucked up. May, that's the parents, and then Rose, the little daughter. So Cody and May are about to separate. Rose doesn't want them to divorce. So she creates two dolls out of wood and clay, and these dolls magically come alive and actually controls both Cody and May. And you could say you're almost controlling their emotions. You're almost playing their emotions. All right, this is There's one of levels where we're actually making a mechanic for their emotions. This so is one of those situations where a regular trailer would have worked better. That's gonna feel very yeah, I didn't, I didn't need this guy talking himself up on top of everything else. Because, like, so far we've covered his his life, a movie that he's working on about his life, the, the A Way Out game he made, and then there's this. What am I doing up here? And then maybe you get back to, to Earth again. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It takes two, actually. Guys, uh... I'm glad we got to sit here and watch well, that guy that jack was, himself off for, like, 15 to... minutes. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Welcome to Gothenburg and, well, my home. Unfortunately, I didn't bring you any Swedish fish, but we do have some exciting news for you about our latest game. At Soink, we've always been driven by love it's of rich visual Yeah, it's like a indie. They're they're they were they were, they were one of the studios so in that like highlight hype reel earlier. I mean, their yeah, absolutely. Their games look whoa. Game, interesting. I wanted to try something a little darker. Oh, something Zoink. of a gothic fairy tale. 
What started with a mood and some I like I like the look of this. This, this looks okay so far. What's what's like the Tim Burton esque the dream? No, Tim, the Burton, Tim Burton does Nothing it. random is the nah. story of even a little girl with a big heart and an even bigger temper. After a horrible event that changes her life, she embarks on a dangerous journey through the world random. But fortunately, she's not alone. Just like I have Olaf, even also has a crazy smoking fat zoinks thing with her. <laughs> Along her journey, even discovers dice. <laughs> that was such a, hair. That was such like a stupid joke, piss boy, that it worked. Good job. Random. <laughs> Despite the name, in Even's world, randomness is feared. And a dark force controls every aspect of life, from where you live to how you act or what your favorite color is. It's a coming of age story set against the backdrop of a mysterious world. I do hate randomness. A message that's really relevant to our world right now. I think we can all relate to the that desire to try and control the chaos around us. With Dicey's help, though, even learns the power in doing just the opposite. Embrace the randomness, accept the uncertainties in life, and you'll be surprised how far it takes you. <laughs> Imagine if you could change the course of life with a roll of a dice. What would you do? Play it safe or trust in yourself and take roll a chance? Roll die. We can't wait for you to play and find out. Yeah, I think you're going to roll the dice a lot. Launch, roll my dice! Join Even and Dicey on their journey next year. Until then, Cuphead and his friend Mugman, they like to roll the dice. Random. Welcome to random. Oh, that sucked. Fuck off. The world of random. Bend oh, that's what... The roll of mm. one dice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I could have workshopped that name a little more. Uh, look around and tell me this doesn't look Tim Burton-esque. Tim Burton... Tim Burton, like, nah. I'm I not saying one-to-one, -one, but it's got that same type of They're view. going for, like, a dark fairy tale, alright? change everything. What the fuck is Laika? Laika is another uh, studio that makes animated stop motion. Were they the ones that made Coraline? Yeah, oh, they were the ones that made Coraline. Yeah. yeah. It, this is more like Coraline than Tim Burton. I'll give you that. Okay, I I take it back. Some of those some of those designs were very Tim Burton esque. Like the like the wolf guy that uh -huh. I saw like a half a second ago. It's like in between. They yeah. should be scared of us, right? Oh. Uh. Mm, could have workshop that name a little better. Yeah. I like the die. Yeah. That's what we get lost in random in man. Embracing randomness. I feel like Shut I your that fucking mouth. Uh. We are passionately oh. focused on making great multiplayer games. Hey, it's a Diet Coke Germa. That's why. I am incredibly excited to announce that we have partnered with the talented team at EA to release our first ever title, <laughs> Rocket Arena. Oh, who see, cares? Stay loyal to the name of the game. It's a rockets-only shooter that allows players to get into the action quickly and stay in the fight. Oh, we wait. We want Rocket Arena to be an awesome, competitive experience to play with friends. I think you're going to love what we've got in store for you. Here is the all-new trailer of Rocket Arena. That Enjoy actually it. did sound interesting. Rockets only. Rockets away. Let's kick this into gear. Oh, it's another uh Is it is it is it a, a Overwatch? It's a Overleague. Have you ever wondered why life is so good on Crater? I no. wish your art style didn't Crater suck. Beaches. I'm sure this art style is like easy to I, I get the weird feeling that the reason why it isn't just because like it's popular, I think like because it's easy. Yeah, there's there's probably something about this art style that's like very easy to do, maybe. It's low fidelity, you don't have to try too hard. That's not only rockets, they have special funny powers. I've lost my interest again. See See, like if they showed just if they literally just showed nothing but gameplay, I think it'd be fine. But why, like, too much, like, crap. Get, you know. If this was, like, Quake, but it was only Rockets, then I would be interested. But it's Overwatch with Rockets, yeah. so I'm not interested. Oh, it's third 3v3? person. 3v3? 
Well, that's not that crazy, but it's- wait. Wait, it's third person and you have to, like, knock people out? Um, there is, uh, there's a, you know, uh, someone will like it. So I uh, won't be that person. I'm going to, I'm going to lower the volume even more because I want to talk real quick. There is actually a Quake clone that's being developed by an indie studio, um, called Diabolical. Awesome mm. I think if you, if you like Quake and miss Quake, go check that out. It's, it's, uh, it's got. Uh, what's his name? 2GD at the helm. So, I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, he's like an old Quake guy. Ah. He used to be a Dota commentator, then stopped that to work on Diabolical because uh, he wanted Quake back. I mean, that's one reason I fucking resent Fortnite is it got Unreal Tournament killed. Oh yeah, that's right. They they were in the middle of making a new Unreal tournament. It looked nice. It apparently played really well, and then Fortnite got popular, and they put it in the fucking trash can. Oh. And I, I was like, oh no, we they just almost had our golden age of that shit coming back, and they, Fortnite fucking killed it. So we got a battle royale age. They instead. just they just said each character has a hundred levels of progression. That means like a battle pass or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. They, that's right. 2GD didn't stop casting Dota. He was banned from casting Dota because Gabe called him an ass or something. Unreal's not boring. Go fuck yourself. 2GD got fired by Gabe in the middle of a Dota 2 tournament. Holy shit. I for, I, Did he really? Yeah, that was so long ago. I forgot about that. What happened? Uh, I think they just got into a spat. And so Gabe was like, hey, I run the show. You're fired. Like, and during the international or something the that's show, with the fucking hilarious but yeah but yeah it's so it's on youtube it's go check out diabolical if you miss quake that's all i gotta that say great and hopefully you've all been keeping track of the golden letters hidden throughout the show and nearly cracked the code here's a hint it's not kanye keep an eye out for the oh kind of oh star wars yeah, this is their new spaceship shooter. That looks fucking cool. Ooh, I like a dog. It... I like yeah, a dog. Do... Okay. I like a dog fighting Man, game. Remember yeah, cards? if there's anything good that comes out of Star Wars, it's the fucking video games. Uh, Shrimp Toast 2000. Thank you for the three dollars. And yeah, I think everyone is still mad about tribes. Yeah, everyone's still upset at the tribe. They like brought tribe. They like it's gone. fixed tribes, but it was like. Too little too late it's gone it's gone like it's yeah. gone i i'm pretty sure i get the sense that even high res has moved on they have they fixed it and then said there we fixed it bye we're done and it was fucked up because it's like yeah they did made it they made it fun again but then they dumped it i don't yeah. know why they would do that i would rather just leave it wow. shit the eight-year-old and all of us is celebrating oh uh, 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 okay show this to people I bet. Now, uh, uh, the first time I saw Are you getting it. tricked? And as a kid, there was a lot of different parts You can of just Wars skip over this. It's just this dude talking about what he likes about Star Wars. Oh, like not even attic over the holidays. Level of Star Wars in his actually making this battle for all in. Yeah, you don't need a developer interview about their thought processes is to divert energy from your lasers to your to your engines. How to shift your shield from the front to the back to cover your butt in a dogfight. See, or see like these games are cool because these games are cool because even if they aren't a hundred percent in depth, they uh. I do like the idea of like here is a simulation of a vehicle that doesn't exist. That to me is like a cool aspect of it, right? Kind of an mission over the player. And the fact that it's like a dog fighting simulator is cool. Still not about it. Shrimp Toast 2000, thank you for the three dollars again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. World premiere. World premiere. World premiere. From a month ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, it's, we could have just skipped to this. Yeah.
there's yeah uh, again See, if there's cool. anything there's a lot of stuff about star wars that's really fucking cool like ship designs and yeah. but like especially ship designs really sound design yeah i would play weapon this design. I'd, I'd play this like i don't really know like i don't even want like honestly i don't even want a story just make it a multiplayer pvp like just make it battlefield but only ships and just let well, that's me... what it is good <laughs> First, they're talking about single player. Where you'll play as two combat pilots, flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. You'll experience That's something else. This world through your cockpit. I'm glad that you always get to play as the bad guy in Star Wars games. They uh, yeah. See, this is stuff I like. Yeah. Like it's like, let me let me drive a vehicle that isn't real. Challenging missions. Like, big rigs are real. Planes are real. This isn't real, you know? Oh, dude, I hope you get to customize your character. I want to play- I want to be like a fucked up alien. I want to be a crazy looking alien. Here we go. This is the part I care about. Are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal. Dumpy ass little A wings. Starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stop. You wing. As well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers nice. are the heavy hitters. Able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. But if you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize. Yeah! 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 Yes! Yeah. You, can be a fuck, you can be a fucked up alien and you can have like a bright pink ship. That alter how your fuck ships yes. Fly, fight, and survive. They're on you! This game's gonna be cool. I want, I want all the, I want, I want to, I want to be the guy that, that makes the, I want to be the a weird alien, and I want to have a fireball fuchsia ship. First up, dog fights. This is an all out 5v5 battle. 5v5? That's not 5v5, that big. That's kind of small. Yeah. your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Maybe that, I think yeah the focus of this mode is like a team thing. Okay. Hopefully there's like a 15 v 15 or 30 v 30 or something. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time Here we go. to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode. Here we go. Fleet battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Five? Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team what in the more? social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. Why only five? First, push the front line by winning the dog. I mean, this seems like a even V shape. I, I'm assuming this is like a like yeah. I, I'm assuming, like, maybe it's more of a focus of, like, uh, like... We've lost our capital ship. Hmm. And finally, I don't know. Ultimate goal. Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship. That's what I liked about Battlefront 2, like, old Battlefront 2, was you could just jump in a ship and there's, like, 15 people out there shooting at you. Yeah, that's cool. Keep our flagship safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. He's hurt. Unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy. Sensors can't spot you. Or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable. Take your shot. We need to hurry. Yeah, there's something just cool about zipping through 3D space, you know? Yeah. And doing, like, oh, oh, and doing, yeah, like, see, this is That dope. looks fucking cool. 
I am disappointed by the small battles, yeah, but at the same time, this does still look fucking fun. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I would like a mode that's literally just like traditional deathmatch, where it's like, I don't know, like 30 people on a server. Maybe they'll add that later on. You never know. Yeah. Oh, October 2nd. It launches in this October. I don't know why I almost said December. We're so fucking far into the year, we're almost in August. Yeah. Quarantine is, uh, crazy. Is this legal? Hello? Is this legal? How'd you get this number, Lamar? Is this legal? What do you mean, is this legal? We're getting hacked. Are we allowed to see this? Yeah, he just called the wrong number is all. Oh, shit. Oh, skip. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. Here's the advantage over sitting through E3 is we can skip over this bullshit. Laura Miel, beginning. Apex Legends. Oh. And Command and Conquer. Apex. I think. These oh, this is just a recap. I think. Because of you, your voices are heard. And they're saying and thank you for being gamers. All in <laughs> thank you for being gamers. Excited about what's to come. Hold on. We don't want to wait. I know. I know what you're, you're trying to do. Teams are working on. Thank you for being gamers. Ten they fucking ah! beyond the boundaries of gaming as we know it today. Are we so close up to Putin? Is no different. <sighs> Our studios are taking their crazy ambitious ideas and making them real. Criterion is known for how their games feel. From superior physics to nuanced details. Okay, that's kind of dope cuz that looks really good. That does look really good. This year, there will be a seamless immersion which will get you into the race. In a matter of seconds. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm a Bioware, sucker for some of this tech stuff. Bioware. Oh. Of your own story. And we're using this next generation of technology to make those fantasy worlds your reality. For every I like generation, Dice sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and epic. fidelity. That's hey. actually the proper use of the word epic. Hey, hey. I love no, no, a game no. that looks just like that. Yeah, actually. I want a game that looks like this. I so, want a toy soldier game. Yeah, give me this game. You know, don't even, dude. Give me this game. Unlike anything you've experienced before. At Motive, we are working on a highly ambitious and innovative new game that puts. I would love a battlefield. This just battlefield, but it's toy soldiers instead. Yeah. That would, that would be sick. Without next gen technology. What is the this? Fuck? That was like a very this early build of something. That was a really that was weird. just a tech demo. I'm pretty sure. So much more to come. That looked like a Magic the City Man Studios game. Is not just about new technology. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, chat? You, you ever see that Mega ideas. 64 video? A Magic City Man game. Where you come to play. We want to make games for everyone. So please keep giving us your feedback and let's build please keep, keep giving us your money. You're about to say <laughs> you you made the same joke <laughs> I was gonna make. It was today. so it was like but of course. There's just one more game we would love to share. One more game? Cousin Darren. Yeah, we know you. what it is already. Cousin, wait. Thank you. Cousin uh, Darren? So the moment Yeah, we know here. what it is. We finally get to say, we're back. We're doing it. Skate's happening. We're rolling. We've secretly got together. It's the beginning. Oh, we're she said Cuz and Darren. We've been waiting years, honestly. Cuz and Darren. I thought, and Darren. I thought, I thought cousin she, Darren. Yeah, I thought she said Cousin but Darren. Like her cousin. Was gonna like her cousin was gonna like be the next like, person up like to speak. Like we were speak. supposed, we were supposed to know who cousin Darren is. Yeah. A long way to go, but we're stoked, and this is just the beginning. And seriously, we we really can't. That's how you can tell it's going to be a genuine skate game, is because that dude just said stoked. Yeah. And all the support that you've shown, you know, us. This guy, this guy looks like a skater who's who's older now. He needs the game because he can't really do it himself anymore. Oh, don't don't make it. Don't say it like that. That's <laughs> depressing. Skate forever. Guys. Oh, we're in Oh no. We don't need him. Oh no. It's interference. We we can shut it down now. It's just it, the typical like slideshow. All right, chat. Well, that was that. That was our sort of not E3. I get the feeling that some companies, like, 
usually i i get the feeling that some companies might have more announcements as time goes on because mm-hmm. usually uh, in the last few years usually like uh square enix because they they've like bought up a few studios square enix usually has like their own um their own like uh their own uh what am i trying to say their own presentation right so square uh-huh. enix usually has has their own presentation um and like usually and like the pc gaming show already happened but we 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 missed out on that i watched that live there was nothing of any importance in that they, <laughs> there they never showed is that, they showed that shark game they showed that shark game the pc gaming show is always just nothing so i'm gonna put you guys on the hot seat a little bit a little you know bit. in the future the only thing i care about coming out of ea is new spore or remastered mass effect that's all i give a shit about from them that's all you care about uh, that's, that state, was like, got it. we're like that's it that was exactly what i was gonna ask you i was gonna ask you like hey what are you excited about and that and that, and that would be it yeah that's all i would want from ea although i mean the surprise of that like squadron game that's cool yeah uh-huh. but i want new spore I, I want new i want remastered mass effect so it doesn't play and look like shit nintendo had smt 5 and nocturne remake that's all i'm uh-huh, excited you... about the i don't hate any of the games that were shown from microsoft or ea or or like uh or e or, or ubisoft the thing is like i'm still jazzed about the games that have yet to be released yet that were announced last year like where is Baldur's gate 3 you know i mm, it's hard telling yeah so i, it's I like, can't i can't even keep track of all the shit that was announced like last year or the year before and then yeah, just exactly disappeared. i like i still have a list of games that i'm like man i can't wait for these games to come out Baldur's gate 3 crystal chronicles remake it's like so it's it's weird. Can we watch the Devolver Direct? Eh, we're gonna skip it because I already saw that one. Devolvers, Sorry. yeah. Mm. If it, you, uh, they actually released like a game, like it's like a first-person shooter where you're going through like a giant Devolver booth. So, is that? But yeah, I think. Oh I, yeah. I think I think I think overall I had fun, and uh, oh yeah. I mean, I don't think. You know, E3 wasn't real this year, but we basically saw it, right? It would ju- it would have just been this these would have presentations- been the exact same shit we would have. Seen. Yeah, it would have ju- just been these presentations, but live, and maybe it'd be interspaced between someone on stage. Eh, it's okay. There were a few games that I'm really jazzed about, like as again SMT, I Demon Souls remake. That's cool. Uh, but eh. Not a, I'm I I'm less hyped about the games they announced this year versus the games that have yet to come out last year. We saw the Game Clam presentation, yeah, yeah, Game Clam. <laughs> if you if you don't know what we're talking about, so for so, somehow, uh, go check that out. All right, normally I go for like five hours ish, but I think today Game Clam. Game Clam. I think today, uh, we're gonna wrap it up. A little sooner than normal, right? So, I hope you guys all had fun. I hope you guys... What did we do today? We watched some presentations. We had some funny moments. We talked about, uh, you know, the games we're excited about. I tried the slop. I tried the slop. If you missed out on the slop, go, go watch... Go, go watch, uh, go, I'm sure someone clipped it. Uh, I made Wayne's Oreo slop and I ate it. So, coming up next is Holly. So stick around. Don't go anywhere, chat. Because Holly's Uh, up in like three minutes. I'm going. I'll probably play Tekken later too. Oh, you'll play Tekken later. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm just disappearing for the day. I want to play... I yeah. want to play as Miguel, and I can't play as Miguel by myself. I'll get too mad. All right. So, I need a support group. once again, you guys know the deal. You guys know what's what I'm about to say. This show is brought to you, is brought, yeah, yeah. All right. 
maybe I gotta <laughs> let me start over this show isn't just for you it's in part by you so thank you your time is very valuable and the fact that you're spending it here with me uh, genuinely uh, means a lot and it makes me very happy um, don't let the numbers fool you I'm a relatively new streamer and uh, if you would like to help out the easiest oh, way die. 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 the easiest way you can help out is by word of mouth is by spreading the word if you had fun today hey maybe recommend me to some of your friends uh, we are aside from oh, die. 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 today was a special case we're currently in the middle of a playthrough we're on the latter end I feel of a Yaku of a, a very intense Yakuza Zero playthrough. Uh, you can scroll down. Uh, if you want to go even further than that, you can scroll down. You can click on that golden frog. I'll take you to a page where you can leave a tip, or you can do what Unicorn Kissing just did, and you can sub and or gift subs like they did. You can also, of course, uh, give me bits, follow. However far you want to take it. But yeah. Um, thank you. There's no... There's no... There's nothing else for me to say. I Normally, by, the further I go along in these streams, the, the fewer words I have to come up with to really, you know, tell you how grateful I am that you're so, all so generous. Even if all you're doing is is spending your time today watching i thank you uh yeah i hope you t it, it is now 5 59 it's about to be 6 p.m here on the east coast it is july 24th 2020 it is a let me look out my window it's a beautiful sunny summer day in my neck of the woods at least if you are sticking around to go watch Holly, have fun. If you're headed out today, I hope you have a good rest of the day, no matter what that is for you. Have a good one, folks. Stay safe. Stay happy. Thank you. Let's wrap up for today, shall we?